she's just trying to give her son a life that she never had as a yeah. kid. But as her son, one, he don't know, and two, he don't even care because right. he want his mother. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, true. But That's how it be. As a it's kid. like, bro, I don't give a, I don't right. care about this money. Right. But you say that because you've never been in that position. Yes. Yes. But it's like, that's such a hard spot to be in. Yeah, it really is. And that's, I feel like, why I don't, like, fault my mom or I don't try to even talk about it as if it was in a negative sense because I don't really look at it that way. Mm. Or maybe I feel ways about it, but I try not to look at it that way. Mm. I'm sorry. I sound emotional because I'm, like, getting emotional, but I will not let myself cry. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J-Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J-Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout-out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's popping? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J Hill here, uh, J Hill Podcast. Yo, make sure you subscribe to the audio. Uh, if you're watching this, stop, pause it, go to the audio right now. You know what I'm saying? Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify, anywhere you can find your podcast, man. Make sure you lock in. Uh, today is a special guest for a special occasion. Uh, we celebrating. Oh man, I gotta get it right. Somebody Google it for me. Uh, Women's History right. Month, oh, right? Oh, okay. Right. Women's History Month. The mm -hmm. month of March. I'm trying to do all ladies, all ladies that's doing something powerful, and this is one of the ladies that's doing nothing less than powerful, special. Um, Miss Anik is in the building. What's going on? I really love that. Like, For real? That introduction was nice. I'm getting nice. Come on, come I'm on. I'm getting nice. Lisa Simone came up here. She said, I hate your introduction. Oh. Because I don't do intros. That was nice. Thank you. you. you I meant it though. I loved it. You, I, get, you plugged everything. I like to stop, turn the camera off, put the podcast on. <sighs> I made me want to tune in. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, I think that's what I'll be doing next. And then you plugged the woman his, women's history. Then you was like. Yeah, you got to do the podcast next. Yeah, put me on there, please. Do I have a podcast voice? You got a podcast, everything. Okay. No, no cap. Okay. You Yo, starting to get that, me, ho um, that Southern hospitality I was talking let about. Me let me um <laughs> produce a podcast for you. Let's do it. No cap, for real. Me and my friends been wanting to do a podcast. You going to produce it for us? Yo, you would body it. You on Beja? Yes. Nay, nay. Lolo. Um, so, you got to help me with uh nicknames. I thought right. Regine is Nay. There you go. Mm-hmm. Y'all will go crazy. Let's do it. No cap. Let's do it. I'm dead serious. So where I can where can I listen to your podcast? It's everywhere. Spotify. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we yeah. talking about your podcast though. I'm oh, trying okay. to tell yo, just pull up, man. I'm not, we got I, I got some of your team here too. Right. So. <laughs> I'm fit us. I know where you at now. Yeah. I, yeah, I think y'all could just come one day and just All record right. something for fun. All right. For real. Are you yeah. gonna give us the topic and shit? Like how does it go? Um, or we just get the conversation going. I would want y'all to get the conversation going. I would mm -hmm. want y'all to talk like right. open and freely. You okay. know what I'm saying? I think you'll go crazy. I'm not gonna right. lie. Uh, Let's set that up for real. For real, I'm dead ass. We not talking. We just we. I mean, we serious. We not just talking. All right, cool. Not for real. I'm a man of the word. Like, you want to shake one? Oh uh, yeah. Let's All do right, that. Bad, bad, bad. Please, please. Another thing, right. a little pet peeve of mine. What? If you, whenever you move, just All right, move, move the mic. mic. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why control did I do the mic. That? Don't let the mic control you. Yeah, you know I definitely let it control me just then. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm embarrassed. Ball. I'm embarrassed. Right? Nah, okay. Okay. Embarrassed. Come on. All right. So, um, I got this little thing I do. Uh, All right. It's like a little icebreaker. Okay. I say I like uh, a statement or a question or a word, okay. and you just give me how you what you feel about it. Okay. All right. Oh, this might be hard. No, it's gonna be super easy. First <sighs> thing is. Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, Come on, one of your I'm, favorite places to tour. Come on. Okay. Go on tour, man. You, did you do your research? Oh my god. Did Jay do his <laughs> research, y'all? I have to know. Okay, one of my places, to, my one of my favorite places to tour. Mm -hmm. Energy out of this world. Um. 
different. I don't know, just very different. Y'all like your own world, kind of like how I feel about New York. Mm. That's it. It could be it. That's fine. If that's mm. it. I feel a lot of ways about Baltimore, but come on, let me know what else. Um, like I feel like y'all are very trendy, but for real, I feel like that. But I feel like <laughs> I have this argument a lot. For some reason, y'all trends don't really travel around the world. Wow. Because like y'all are like in y'all own. Like it's like y'all yeah. there. Like, you know, Atlanta niggas say no cat and shit like that. And they just go all around the world. Yeah. Y'all have that could go global, but I don't know why. Like what, it. like dummy? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Y'all Stupid. Yeah, I mean now now I'm, everybody <laughs> don't need to be crazy. saying that. But yeah, <laughs> everybody don't need to be saying that. But y'all have things that's like cool. That's cool, but I don't know. I like that it's just a Baltimore thing, though. So mm. it don't have to go global. Okay. Um, in the month of March, uh, Women's History Month, so I wanted to ask you some okay. questions on motherhood, of course, but mm. just that alone, motherhood. Mm. Motherhood. It's me keep wanting to put, say everything is different. Motherhood in, is an experience, mm. um, but it's never the experience that people think it is. Like, before I was a mother, I thought, you know, this, this, and that, all these things about being a mother until I became one. Mm. And it's an eye-opener. Mm. It's a lot of different things, but mainly a, an experience. What do you think the hardest part is? Hmm. I don't know, because I don't really think being a mother is hard. I feel like things get hard when it's like something happens to my child or something that I feel like I don't know how to control. Mm. Like, oh, like, how do I save her? How do I help this because you just want to, you know, be there as much as you can. But every, it's like I'm not a doctor and I'm not all these different things. So sometimes I get nervous, like, in times like that, I guess. Did you snap right back at the pregnancy? Like, body-wise? No. Absolutely not. So I was postpartum. Um, I mean, that had to be hard, no? Let's see. I, I like, snapped back, but not all the way. Like, so my mom told me this trick, which I don't think it's just, like, a hidden trick or anything. But right after you had your baby, you know the little... What's this? The uh, waist trainer. Waist trainer. Yeah. You're supposed to either have one or ask the doctor to give you one. They only give you one when you have a C-section. Mm. I didn't have a C-section, so I was like, can y'all give me the you know thing for a C-section? And you wrap yourself up as soon as the baby drops, and your body starts to like you know compress itself. Mm. <laughs> and you snap back like that, but it still is a lot because now you hard? have all this extra skin. Like, was it hard? Like, how bad is postpartum, though? If you could explain it, like how or was it hard for you? Um, it wasn't that hard for me, but I'm kind of like a tricky person. I feel like to ask because I'm not like I'm in tune with my feelings, but not a lot. Like I don't really care about stuff, and I'm like so. Sometimes people will ask me like, "Are you going through postpartum?" And I'm like, "I'm not even sure." Mm. Like I wasn't sure if I was going through postpartum or not. I I don't know if that's like understandable. No, I understand. <laughs> So it wasn't that bad. Kyron, this is going to be interesting because for somebody who's not as in tune with their feelings, let's see. <laughs> no, what, let's see. <laughs> it, what? No, no. Uh, no, no. I'm, 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 I got too far ahead of myself. I suppose oh, you saying okay. one word. We're going to get into the interview. All right, so um, the next thing, I'm pretty sure people asked you about this before. But okay. I'm pretty sure it's probably been a while ago. We mm-hmm. got more time to think about it. Mm-hmm. When it comes to being the child of... Superstar parents. Mm-hmm. First thing that comes to your mind. <clears throat> Annoying. Mm. Um. A we- like a weird pressure. Mm. Mm. Not what people expect for it to be. Jeez. Mm-hmm. People think it's just like, oh, it's the perfect life that you could ever ask for. Why are you like this? Or why are you complaining? Like you grew up behind a picket fence, but it's just... Like, people, I don't know, like, more money, more problems. People scream that all the time, but I don't think you really understand that unless it's, like, the life you live. Mm. So, I don't know. It's like you have, I don't know, misunderstood. Can we put a thumbtack in that for a second? <laughs> just put, just hold, somebody remind me to bring that back up. She says she don't got feelings, but... <laughs> No, I'm like, that I feel too, like, but like that looked like it touched something, but we're gonna get back into it. We're gonna let me not get too far ahead of myself. Okay. All right. Um, all right, that was good. Uh the last thing I asked is if you had to rank these three things mm-hmm. from most important to the least important, okay. How would you rank it? Respect, loyalty, 
love? What absolutely has to come first? Mm. Um, respect. Mm, why? Why? Mm. Um, because I feel like if someone having respect for you is like, I don't know, it's just most important because I feel like everything falls after that. If I respect you, I'll be loyal to you and mm. I love you. But if I'm loyal to you, I feel like I don't mean I have to respect you. Mm. I can just be loyal to you. I can with you, but I can still do you dirty. Mm. Not, you know, not to a point where it's like, damn, this is unloyal, but, you know. Um, so, yeah, respect, loyalty, then love. Respect, loyalty, love. That's interesting coming from a, a woman. Really? Yeah, what, I, do, what do females usually, usually say? Well, I, I don't think this, you might be the first one to ask about this, but oh, I would okay, assume okay. Uh, just prejudgment, mm-hmm. you know, which you're not supposed to do, but mm-hmm. I'm human, so I'm mm-hmm. not scared of y'all. But I love that. <laughs> um, <laughs> you would assume, I would assume uh, love. Love. Of course, right? Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like men for sure saying respect. Okay, I would assume a, a woman would say love. Yeah, it was one no. thing before I got into that, so I'm sorry, I messed it all up. But the, it's the all right. one before that was supposed to be co-parenting. Co-parenting. Um, it's can be a battle. Mm. Um, but for me. I feel like it's also uh, can be a a joy mm. for me. I don't know. Why? Because <laughs> where do I start? Um, let's see. I don't know. I don't even know if you want to get here yet. We here. Okay. For me, I'm a person who like like one once upon a time, I said, like, I felt like marriage is kind of, like, harder than having a baby. Mm-hmm. And that's because I'm a person who, I don't know, like, I'm, I almost don't like people. Not really. Like, I I really don't like people that much. Not like that. I hate, it don't seem I hate like when you I, do a great job at faking No, it. I appreciate it. It's not that I'm faking it. I'm nice. I'm cordial. <laughs> but I like to be at home and by myself. Like, I'm one of those people so i don't know like i feel like love loving someone else can become overwhelming mm. for me and i feel like co-parenting for me you can find a balance in between still loving someone but doing what's best for your child and i'm gonna leave it right there <laughs> i was gonna let you keep going i want you to keep going cause i'm gonna leave it there you talking some stuff though like okay. It sounds like some experience that I know you don't have. Like that's crazy. Why you feel like I don't have that experience? I, I mean, parenting is new. It is. Yeah. You so I'm assuming co-parenting okay. is new. Yeah. But ag- again, you probably witnessed the trials and tribulations of relationships and marriage because, mm-hmm. again, mm-hmm. what you experienced. So it's like, did you learn that from your parents? Like, where did you see that first? Of just under. When you, you the way you broke this down, I gotta give okay. you your flowers. I'm sorry, like okay. it's just like, bro, like we <laughs> gotta do is it's, it's a balance of mm-hmm. loving someone, mm-hmm. but still doing what's most important for the kid. Yeah, for sure. A lot of times, in my experience, what I see mm-hmm. in a black home and a toxic home that we're we just grown up, grown up seeing, so mm-hmm. it automatically trickles down to us mm-hmm. unintentionally, unconsciously, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is we get selfish. And making it about us. Yes. Well, I want to do this. Well, yes. I want to do this. Well, I want yes. my kid. Well, I, and the fact that you was able to articulate, it's a perfect balance of loving someone, mm-hmm. but also doing what's best for the kid. Where did mm-hmm. you first see that? Before you had a child? It's so crazy because I feel like you're making me break this down. You're good. and oh, You're you. great at what you do. I appreciate because it. Because at first, I, when you first asked, I'm like, I think I just learned it for myself. But um, I would feel like it definitely would have started, like, in my home Mm. or, yeah, in my home. (laughs) Hold on. Can we take another shot? Let's go. I wish that's my (laughs) dog. She making it so easy. No, you... Isn't me still flocking? No, you're doing your thing. You're doing your thing. I love love it. I love it. Let me me try to still articulate while you pouring yours. Um... I would say it's. Okay. I really just want you. I feel like you're my friend. Like you're supposed to be pouring my, my shots. Dog. Just, you can pour my shots. Like niggas don't have to be on no funny. Yeah, shit. I like, know. I know. It's not even. I'm, come it's, on. Just, it's a culture thing. All right. It's really a culture. I'm you gotta that. so I'm pour that. your own poison. You really gotta get yourself drunk. So that way, like if you get drunk, okay. it's on you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's your hand. Okay, I'm not gonna take all of this. Time. No, I mean we gonna get lit. 
We gonna get lit. Yeah, you keep pouring big ass shots. <laughs> we gonna get lit, but yeah, it's good. <laughs> but remember, it don't have to be a shot. Sip it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It feels like we- like weird to sip a shot. Okay. Okay. I'm with you. It's giving like old lady or something. Yeah, like. But this is also good. It is good though. It's like a drink. Um. Okay. So. Yeah, so I would say, to explain this the best that I can, I grew up in my grandparents' house. That's mm-hmm. where I was raised. My mom was already, obviously, R&B queen, blah, blah, blah. Not blah, blah, blah. Say that again. <laughs> no, for real. My mom Don't was already, yeah, let me not play with that. I'm never going to do that. Let's not disrespect the queen. Already, before I was even thought about, already R&B queen. And then, as I was growing up, Escape broke up, and she was with my stepdad, too. Then his... Um, his career took off. Mm-hmm. So she was on the road with him after that, pretty much. So I feel like um, that... Oh, wait. No, wait. I'm sorry. I'm connecting the wrong thing right now. Take your time. It's fine. Yeah, let me take my time. Yeah, it's, it's all good. Like, this is the dream I want to say... I want to say that's where it kind of probably started, though. Like, um... Wait, no, I'm Let lying. Let me help you then. Yeah, no, no. Where was... I got to take it back. Where was your biological father? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's where That's where I was about to... Let me take it back. My dad got locked up when I was three. Okay. In prison. So, I don't know. I guess it was like my life was already a co-parent situation, but I don't know. Because now that I'm really thinking about it and thought I was about to break this down, I don't... So, did I learn anything I'm from that? I'm going to help you. Yeah, help me. How did... Tip being your step-pops, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. How did how how did he embrace y'all or you right. as your stepdad? Um, I think he did an extremely great job with embracing me as his child, already having kids and them having their own kids. I think he did a really great job at that. Um, but I don't know. Honestly, I feel like to answer the question, I probably learned what I just said from my own experience. What which one though? From my actual experience co-parenting now. So did it start off hard? Because when you say my experience, you had to experience something. Right. It started off hard. Oh, but that's interesting. It started off hard because it's hard to let go of the relationship part to mm. like be like, let's do what's best for the kid. Like you said, it's like I want this. It's what I want. It's what I want. But you have to think about your child at this point. And... I don't know. I feel like after a while, it became easy. <laughs> like, I'm a person. I'm a person who is kind of, like, numb in a situation. That's why I'm saying I'm not in tune with my feelings. Like, even me me saying my mom, she was on the road and stuff. Like, I became numb with being at my grandma's house. Mm. And... It's just like, this is what it is. So after a while of me being hurt and like, oh, I want my family and I want this to work out. It's like even my mom and my dad, I learned at a young age, everything don't work out. It's not, it doesn't have to go as planned and it still works out. I feel like I turned out great. I not I turned out great and sound cocky or anything, but like my grandparents did a great job. My mom, everybody. You giving me chills right now. I'm Am I? I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> What does it give Because of the potential of this conversation. All right, where are we going with it? If you continue to be so open like you are, Mm -hmm. this might be one of the best interviews ever. Ooh, I'm going to tell you why. Because it's so much to learn from, like, so many people are afraid. And these, I talked to the team about this, like, but there's so many people are are unable to talk about the past because they they sometimes feel like it affects right now when that's not Mm -hmm. true, right? Like, you can reflect, you can tell, you can say how you feel, Mm -hmm. and that doesn't change how you feel about the moment right now. Yeah, no. And what you're saying is so many, it's so many places to go. I don't Mm -hmm. have feelings. Mm -hmm. I was hurt at one. I was numb to the pain. You Mm -hmm. feel me? Like, Mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, this is great. (laughs) This is about to be great. I love it. This is great. You know, I'm not going to Let's go into it. Um, So, staying on the co-parenting before we get to the parenting thing. Wait, can I touch on what you just said real quick before you go in? I feel like people are kind of don't want to speak about certain things because I think now we're in a day to where, like, I can say all the things I just said and people will find a way to make that so negative. That's a fact. Yeah, you're right. Oh, they were parent. They were terrible. This is not, and it's not that. You're right. I said I still came out great. I'm not hurt by things that I went through, but people will make it seem like that based off of me just telling my story. Yeah. Which is why most of the times I'm like, 
closed in and I don't like people and all that. I can't stuff. agree more. You're right. You're right. <laughs> and we're going to get to the co part, but this is just great. Okay. Just genuine conversation. You're absolutely right. And that's why sometimes it get hard in the space that I am in because mm. the conversations that I have, as respectful and as good as they are, is still touching on let's say, trending things, mm-hmm, right? I just talk mm-hmm. about it differently. Yeah. But again, like you said, no matter how good the conversation is, the average person is not going to take the time to listen to the entire conversation. They're going to take a snippet out of it. Yes. And they're going to post it, and especially in somebody in your shoes mm-hmm, and the people I mm-hmm, interview. Mm-hmm. That's hard. It gets frustrating at a point. Yeah, so it's like, I, I just rather not say nothing. Either, right. I'm going to try to come on the podcast or promote my music and promote what I got going mm-hmm. on. If we get into something, it's cool, but... I gotta be so reserved because even if I am being vulnerable, right. people wanna take it. Yes. At, yeah. Oh my god, right. my yeah. life, literally. Damn. Yeah. You so imagine that. how I feel trying to have those conversations. <laughs> right. You say, where do I go with this? <laughs> yeah, nah. So we're gonna have those conversations because again, I, my thing is, and again, I'm not as popular as you, so it's easy for me to say I'm not scared of you. I, I, I say like I'm not scared of you, saying mm-hmm. like, I don't know if you ever watched Bernie Mac, but like mm-hmm. I can be me mm-hmm. and whatever you think. You. I don't care. Right, I like that. You know what I'm saying, but it might be easier for me to say that because I'm not as popular as you are. Well, yeah. no, yeah, that's what. There we go. Yeah, so that I, part. I'm just definitely. But all right, I mean, let's go back to the co-parenting thing. All right. At at what point mm-hmm. did it go from being hard to separate the relationship to understanding that okay, this is bigger than us now? What? What was it? What was the situation? What happened? What was the wake up call? When was you looked? You had looked up and said, "Okay, this is. Let's stop this. It's about Hunter, right? Correct? Yes. Yeah. When, when was it about? When did you see that? Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines. Man, he's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi million dollar businesses. Right? He created the Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen. As an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, Right. They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. Um, I'm trying to really think. It probably wasn't just like an actual pinpoint moment where I was like, all right, this is it. Like, I'm just so fed up. Or no, not that. Because it had to come to that. Not but it's even like, fed up. It yeah, basically. Like, yo, it's like, like, yeah, after a while, it's just like, all right, like, can't do it. But I think with me, a lot of the times I already be knowing. And I feel like a lot of people already be knowing, like, what's best. Mm. But we try to, you know, keep going and fixing. And and I've never been one of those people. And I feel like that's what... Um, even with Izzy, I I learned to, like, try to work things out and be more, like, you know, if I want this, I can work through things and we can whatever, whatever. But I've never been one of those people. Like, I'm, like I said, I like to be by myself. I get tired of people, this, this, and that. Not saying Izzy in particular, but, like, that's how I am about stuff. So mm. I feel like it was probably, I don't know, all types of little things that I'm just, like, it should be this and not that. And after a while, Izzy wouldn't even have to do anything, I feel like, to make me mad in particular or to upset me. It just was like, all right, like, I'm kind of done with this mm. type thing, which is selfish on my part also, and I know that. It's, but it also looks like, like, when did, I guess the question, outside mm-hmm. of Izzy, right, mm-hmm. looking in the mirror, mm-hmm. did you ever have a point where it's like, yo, let me not focus on him or this per se and focus on this as in Hunter and mm-hmm. what's best for her. Like mm-hmm. I, outside of the f- whatever was going on in the relationship, forget right. that, right? Okay. When did you look at it and be like, yo, like I'm really looking at the wrong things, like no matter his actions or whatever, forget mm-hmm. that. Like, because mm-hmm. well, I, I can't really have that conversation because I know Izzy. And I'm right. not trying to like, <laughs> yeah, like, not, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not about him. It, you feel yeah. me? It's about you and Myself when did you and... see. 
like, yo, like no matter what somebody else is doing, yeah. I can't allow that to affect my feelings because that's going to affect how the love I give to my daughter. Right. So you saying when did when did this click? Yeah, yeah, yep. Um I mean, I don't know. It's like I feel like I really can't say. Can't I, don't pinpoint know. It. I I can't pinpoint it. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I've gotten to such a I mean, in my eyes like a good point to where it seems healthy and like we can be in the same room and we can do things and co-parent and it's really healthy. Yeah. And, and that's I, why I feel like well, how I said earlier, like how I was able to say how I felt about it, I feel like it's actually a cool thing to do. It is. And I asked about the pinpoint just mm-hmm. to give a little understanding or explanation because mm-hmm. so many people aren't there. True. Right? So it's hard for so it's so, it's so hard to co parent in, in our culture, in yeah, the true. world. You true. feel me? So if you can find the pinpoint, I'm thinking maybe it can help somebody mm. be like, okay. I can let me look. Let me do some in the right. work and look at it, and I can also help my situation. If that makes sense. That's why I asked right. about it. It wasn't really about the personal. Um, I don't know. I feel like within myself, it's it's all about my happiness, mm. and then my child's happiness, or whichever one comes first. I don't want to like be wrong about it. It's no right or wrong, <laughs> right? And honestly, so, um, you gotta come first because right. if you're not happy, you can't even give the love. Exactly. And people, exactly. People overlook. Oh my god, people overlook that so much. Yes, yeah, so much, and that's really the pinpoint. If I can't, if I'm not happy, then I can't have a healthy Any, environment. Yeah. Anything for my child. Mm, mm, mm. Like if I'm moping around the house, and my child's like, "Mommy, mommy, mommy," I can't even like get out of that if I'm not happy. Okay, so. On on my show, I like to like like have a human moment, right? Okay. So like you said, for the most part, who you are, mm-hmm. you like to be by yourself. Mm-hmm. You can wash your hands easy. Like I ain't dealing with you. Know what I'm saying yeah. for the most part, right? For the most part. Give me the human moment when it's like you grown, because I hear so much growth. Okay. But we can't ignore we the frustration it. that come behind when somebody don't see the growth. Mm. That guy, when, it might not happen all the time, mm-hmm. but talk about the time when it ha- when the last time it happened is like, bro, like you have no idea how far I came, and like I'm working mm. on this, and somebody might not see th- the strides that you came, or the the bullets that you had to bite, the the times you put your pride to the side. Mm. I'm trying to think, cause I feel like I'm such a like private person mm. to the point where. A lot of my family members don't even know, like, what I'm doing or what I got going on, how I'm feeling, how I'm here by myself today. <laughs> like, I don't call people when I'm hurt and shit like that. So, I don't know. I don't really expect for people to be like, to be like, oh, she's maturing or she's growing or I don't expect much from people. But in your relationship, I'm sure you do. Yeah. Because they say it's like, like for men, there's like two people that's going to get, there's only two people that get under those skin, our moms and our girls. Now, this is true. <laughs> right. So I know it there had to be like, nigga, you don't even know. Yeah. I, yeah, no. Okay. If we talk in relationship. <laughs> like, nigga, you don't even know. Yeah, I think like, it's a lot of times in a relationship where it can be frustrating, like in arguments, because I feel like you do a lot of back and forth about like, what you like, when you arguing, what you liking and what I'm lacking. So it can become like, some if if your other person says something that you lacking on that you feel like you're growing in, it becomes extremely frustrating. frustrating. Oh like I feel like I've been working hard on this. So I feel like yeah, all the time in a relationship, it feels not all the time, but a lot of the times it feels like that. She, you know the last time you you remember the last time you felt that way. Mm. You see, I'm digging right. <laughs> right. <I'm working>. You, <laughs> you see, like I'm the next working. time, last time. <laughs> Um, it's just because I just be gone, just so going with the flow of life. Um, but probably kind of recently, probably like last month. Damn. Mm-hmm. How how did it make you feel then? Like, what, what was the things you was going thinking? Um, it made me feel like, damn, like, I guess it probably made me feel like, damn, what am I not doing t- mm. for the person not to see that? Like, I've been working on this part of mm. me. But at the same time, I feel like. What part was it? Hmm. Of you. 
<laughs> Why are you know? trying to go so deep? You want to know my flaws and all? Let's yeah. see. We're not. I, you see, um, I asked about exactly the argument, but I'm I'm just no, curious no. about what part was it of you? That... Uh, my communication. Mm. Supposedly, my communication skills are really low, but mm. I, I I see that inside of me. Like I said, I don't. I let it just. Oh, okay, whatever. It's kind of like a, yeah, it's, it's very nonchalant with me. So I get that, but I feel I thought I had been getting better at like you know let's talk about this this is how i feel mm. i don't know i think when i start talking about how i feel it becomes off a little b- or maybe i just get a little b- because i don't talk so much that when i get to talking it's like oh mm. you're a bitch. if i may can i challenge you a little bit let's do it <laughs> do you know that i was just talking to my girl about this what you can come far do really good mm-hmm. and still have setbacks and that don't take away from your growth you can mm. grow so much and still make a mistake right okay. so like even if it's a moment where you're not the best at communicating mm-hmm. that doesn't take away from the growth the growth you know what I'm saying so and a lot of times I feel like we take it personal because it's mm. like yo, you have no that's why I ask because I feel the same way like I have yeah. I still have conversations to these days that's why I'm mm. able to ask you the question because mm. I'm human I had the same thing my girl right. feels the same way but I, I, I do notice sometimes like we, not even just her, we take it personal when it's like mm-hmm. somebody's pinpointing something. And it's like, bro, yeah. you have no idea. I, I grew so far. And it's like, this bro, just because you made, you you had a setback this one time yeah. doesn't take away from your growth. You know what I'm saying? That's a good way to put it, though. So I never thought of it that no, way. For sure. So don't, maybe next time, try not to take it as personal. Yeah, boy. It's true. Just, it's just a human thing. Yeah, I see that now. I like that. We ain't even halfway there. So let's go. Uh-oh. Let's go back. All right. Yo, you know, um... Let me sip like you. Yeah. Oh, wait, let me stop dodging the mic later. My dog, see? You? Quick learner. Quick learner. <laughs> it's the sip. Grandma house. Mm-hmm. Let's make this disclaimer mm-hmm. for the idiots. Mm-hmm. This part of the show, we're only talking about feelings and mm-hmm. past experiences. That part. This has nothing to do with right now. Mm-hmm. Please for the idiots. Yeah, let's Hold make that, that exclaimer, right? Please. So back when like people thinking like, yo, your mom's is this person, mm-hmm. stepdad is this person. Mm-hmm. Or not even because I don't even know when when stepdad came into the picture, right? Mm-hmm. Mom's is the superstar. Mm-hmm. But like for you, like, man, it's hard. Like you can't even you don't even get the mommy daughter experience like most of your regular friends yeah that's i mean that's pretty much the sum up of it (laughs) you want me to go into detail (laughs) yeah Yeah, of course um i'm trying to be dr j right like like like, Um, in those moments if we can go back like yo if if you could i don't know if y'all had the conversation right but if you could right i don't know if you thought about it but talk to your moms and let like say ma this really hurt Mm -hmm. for learning experiences like what would you say what would I say to my mom? Mm, yeah, if you had the carry. <laughs> mm, yeah, no, that's the funny thing because I've I've never had the like I just somebody honestly just kind of recently maybe two years ago made me realize that I have like deep feelings about these things, which like I was saying I became numb to it. Like mm. it's just like when I was a kid I was like oh I wish my mom would come off on the road and I want my dad out of prison. And then after a while, I mean I was normal. yeah after a while I was like okay this is my life like. You, can't really do anything you become numb to it and it's just like over years i was just like mm, it's just i guess it's just something i live with and then so some somebody brought it up to me and she's just like I, what was it let me let me be specific it was like a um what is it not a fortune teller but like a um <laughs> Like a spirit guider, mm. whatever you would call the it. The spirit Some, must have came to me to talk about it. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, she was the one who brought it to my attention. Like, you know, I feel like I'm seeing something with your mom. Like, you have to say something to your mom. And it's just like, what do I got to say to my mom? Because we're the bestest of friends. But um, I still never said anything to her now in my old age because I feel like I don't, I don't like, hold that against her. Of course That not. she was on the road and doing all these things. I guess... I would have liked to have those moments, those mommy daughter moments, but honestly, not that I'm a mom. Um, I guess what I would would have wanted with my daughter. I relate to you so much. This is ridiculous. <laughs> really? So, 
like, like I'm just painting a picture to be um, transparent so we can mm-hmm. continue the dialogue. So my mom's, um, cause I don't want to make it about me, cause it's, I it want to know though. But I'm gonna let you know. So my mom's was, uh, she was like an addict, drug okay. like crack. You feel me? Like real bad. Can I say what? I feel like that's like, I feel like that's a Baltimore thing. Not a Baltimore no, thing. Maybe, not a Baltimore thing, but I feel like that's like you good. that's I, like so yeah, much I of get, the. I get you. For the idiots, they might not. Okay. But I get you. Like I, you I good, be feeling. I feel bad for that people probably who was grew bad, up. In, though, but... Yeah, yeah. People won't understand that, but I feel I'm like I have a heart for people who came from Baltimore because y'all grew up differently. Listen, bro, you good? Like <laughs> okay. you trust me. I, I don't want to like. I don't want you to be these niggas. We ain't talk. We these niggas. Okay. We just having a conversation. Just so happen to be on camera. All right. But people gonna they gonna feel you for this. Trust me. But I get it wasn't. Yeah, I didn't not, take. Not, yeah, I didn't fin- take. not fending y'all. Yeah, it's but not. I feel for y'all. I get it. Trust me. Okay. I get you. But okay, as long as you get it. It wasn't for me. I wouldn't say it's the Baltimore thing only because my mom's is older. Like my mom's is seventy four. Mm-hmm. So you know the crack epidemic was around during the eighties and like she was like young at that time, right? Mm-hmm. So I say I would say my mom's was a crack addict, right? Mm-hmm. And my mom's is one of the strongest black women I've like. Probably the strongest black woman mm. I've ever met in my life. I love that. Ever. Mm-hmm. And through that, where she lacked, I gave her grace because mm. she helped me become the man that I am today. Mm. With all her mistakes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it taught me what I didn't want. Mm-hmm. And where I'm going with this was I got so caught up in loving my mother that I was putting my feelings to the side. Mm. Right now, I, I took therapy, and my therapist, I, I never forgot, I cried. And even now, it's because it, 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 it was serious. And it was like, yo, I get that. She's like, she like how, how did you feel about your, your childhood? I'm like, bro, I love my mom. She's like, right. my mom's the best mom I've ever. You feel me? Like, she's Definitely. great. And she's like, I get that. Mm-hmm. But how did it make you feel? Yeah. And I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I'm like, damn, like, I really wish my mom was at my football games. That part. That don't take nothing away from her being a mother, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I do wish, me personally, if I could be selfish, that's what she asked. If you could be selfish, and that's mm-hmm. why when I had a conversation about you, with you, it's like, I wish my moms could be at my football games. It was times mm-hmm. where, like, I had to learn to be good in school because the addiction hurt. Mm-hmm. Like, if I got suspended for three, I, like, back in the day, like, if I got suspended for two days, three days, I would have to do prolonged suspension because... When you're ill, when you have anybody know about drug abuse, like if you're ill, you can't really get up until you get your fix. Right. So a three-day suspension would turn into a five-day suspension, mm. right? Yeah. So I had to learn on my own that if I didn't do good in school, mm-hmm. I got set back twice because mm-hmm. I used to get suspended a lot, yeah. right? I got set back twice okay. and it was like, if I didn't do good in school, mm-hmm. then I would just be done for, Yeah. Right? right? And I just talked to my therapist. I'm like, yo, I wish my mom was able to get up and, you know, I wish she wasn't on drugs because a lot of times I was fighting because yeah. I thought I was defending my mom's. Mm, this it. doesn't take nothing away from her. She was a great parent. She's a great woman. She did the right. best she could. Right. But if if we could be selfish right now, both of us, mm-hmm. right? These are things that I was feeling. I'm wondering, like, yo, like, if you had to be selfish, right? And you're like, man, not taking away from your mom's and nothing right. like that. But, like, what were some things you was feeling in those moments? Like, man, I wish. Mm. Oh, I felt. I feel like I felt a lot of I wishes, mm. but so long ago. Right. Like, I guess even when I like realized like how your therapist like made you, or I don't know if she made you realize, but asked you those questions about your actual feelings. Even then, I feel like I I didn't feel like oh well, I wish it could have been this way. Even after, I don't know, but. Uh, like I had, I used to write in diaries all the time when I was a kid. If you look at my diaries now, it'll be so many. I wish my mom was here. Like I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. But I feel like I don't know. I let go of the like I wish part because because I feel like the sacrifices that my mom made made me who I am for one, mm. and gave me a life that she probably wanted for me. Mm. So. I don't know. What, it's, what was the question? Nah, it's, it's crazy because like it's, it's so easy to look back and say like what we would have changed or what you would have changed, mm-hmm, and it's like mm-hmm. it's so hard being a woman, bro. I ain't gonna lie to mm-hmm. you. Being a parent, mm-hmm. I'm a, and I'm not just capping. Like I'm not. I'm, I'm not just saying this to get clicks and nothing like that. It's so hard to be a, 
a single parent and a, and a woman because, like, mm-hmm. yo, who knows what your mom's had to go through? Right. Oh, and, my God. Right. And all she was trying to do mm-hmm. was provide a life for her daughter that she didn't right. have. Right. But in doing so, mm-hmm. it was so many things that she missed. Yes. But it's like I'm like she's doing what she can to change your My life, life right? right? So it wouldn't be like hers. Right. But in doing so, she's missing time. Mm-hmm. Not mm-hmm. giving maybe not as affection or whatever. Not mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But isn't that crazy how, how life mean. works? Right. It is. It really is. And honestly, every time somebody said they go to therapy, I get so motivated to go to therapy. Like. How is that for you? Is me changing, turning the interview around? No, it was dope. Like, <laughs> I, 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 um, I'm looking for another one. It was super dope. Like, yeah. man, that's why the conversation I have, honestly, I try to make it a therapy session because, like, these are conversations that people should have. Yeah. Right? Like, even, like, I was talking to Jess Hilarious, right? And she was mm-hmm. saying, like, she, she got emo- super emotional. Mm-hmm. And she was saying, like, her son plays football. Mm-hmm. But, like, she be on tour and, like, she can't really... Sometimes she can't go to the games right. like she want, want to go. Yeah. And in my mind, I understand. Because it's like, bro, she, you want to I know that. Jess. Yeah. Personally. So it's like, bro, she's just trying to give her son a life that she never had as a yeah. kid. But as her son, one, he don't know. And two, he don't even care because right. he want his mother. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, true. But That's how it be. It's, it's like, bro, I don't give a... I don't right. care about this money. Right. But you say that because you've never been in that position. Yes. Yes. But it's like, yeah. that's such a hard spot to be in. Yeah, though. it really is. And that's, I feel like, why I don't, like, fault my mom or I don't try to even talk about it as if it was in a negative sense because I don't really look at it that way. Mm. Or maybe I feel ways about it, but I try not to look at it that, that way. Mm. I'm sorry. I sound emotional because I'm, like, getting emotional, but I will not let myself cry. It's okay. There's <laughs> pe- plenty of people that cry Can, Oh, I love that. But not I'm not sure. about to, so please don't, like, take me there. And I want to... I'm curious. I'm just still... I'm trying to understand the feelings behind I do want to know, though. Like, honestly. Outside of the cameras, like, for real. What? We here. Oh, you want to know for real? I, I, outside I, I the honestly want to know. Like, for real. I really want to know. Like, I'm curious because so many people, I feel like sometimes... The worst, in my opinion, Mm -hmm. the worst thing we can do is be selfish with our story. Mm. Because there's so much that somebody else can learn from how you felt, what you went through. So, like, it's so many people, so many kids of celebrities, and so many people out there who can learn from what you had going on. You know what I'm saying? And and you not, you want to be the tough guy, not want to be emotional. Like, don't be selfish. You got a story to tell. You got a story to tell. No, but if I start crying, you will never get the, you will never hear the end of the story. You know, you start crying. (laughs) Yeah, it's not, we not giving that that today. Like, let's stay on the, on good terms with the, with the crying. Like, but I do want to know, like, I am curious to know, like, (laughs) the feelings, the emotions that even sometimes that you might think just it might be a random moment. Mm-hmm. It might be random things you think about, like, and you probably would never share with nobody. Like, man, like these are the things that, like, bro, that really hurt. So wait, what are you asking me about my random moments that hurt me? Yeah, not you. What's some things that you reflect <laughs> on that, like, that really hurt and nobody would never know? Uh, I'm not you trying to get deep. What really hurt me? Um, I feel like you got something right there. You like, <laughs> and it's like, like do I want to go there? Or like, no, I don't. I feel like you know exactly I mean, what it is. <laughs> the it's funny like, thing is because I really wasn't. I was trying to like, well, yeah, I was trying to think of something that, you know, hurt me, but was also safe. And I don't want to keep saying the same thing, but honestly. Don't be safe. No, it's not. Yeah, I have to because uh, I will ruin like this I whole like interview. I'm so mad because I understand and I don't want to understand because, like, part of me wanted to like, just give you it to me. You just want to give it. You said part, just well, give it. part of me understands. So it's like, but this is like, come, like, nah, let's go there. Like, f*** it. It's the, th- the real let's go thing. Let's go there with No, you're and, not. And, you made me sign the paper. Shit. You said hey, you're, you're not going hey, Ky- to edit out. He's cabin? not going to edit out. Let's he made me sign a, a paper, I'm a, I'm, I'm a man of word. You going to edit out if I say edit that shit out? I'm going to beep it out. I'm oh, you going to beep it out? I'm going to beep it out. He'll, he'll Let's shake it. Shake on it. 
I'm gonna show you that. What what's gonna be beeped out? Like what you whatever, mean? It's gonna be like beep. Yeah, yeah. For real. Shake on it. Right. Woo. The, I mean, we shook, but like I honestly nah, don't I'm have nowhere to take you. You think I'm about to go deep with you? Tell me <laughs> what. If you listen, if you say it right. Okay. Let's say if I don't I've beep it out. Already said enough. If I if I don't beep it out. Mm-hmm. You can end my like, bro. You're lit. Like, like I'm lit. I'm getting there, but you could literally. We just shook on it, right? Uh huh. If you post like, bro, like this dude is a, he's an idiot. Like people gonna see that. That's gonna kill my credibility. Like I need my credibility. I'm raw. I'm I'm grinding. Like so, it would be in my best person. interest to cut it out. It would be in my best interest oh, okay, to beat it okay. out. Like that's so okay. people like, and I respect them. I need that. I want okay, that. I, I want people that. to see that. that. Um. No, the funny thing is though, like I feel like after. I be- became numb. And the thing is, I just realized recently that I became a numb person. Like, I was in my house the other day or a couple weeks, a month ago, maybe. I don't know. I never, I'm never good with pinpointing times. But I was sitting there wondering, like, why am I like this? Like, why am I always like, oh, it's whatever. And you could be in my life today and be gone tomorrow. I don't care. And it's because all the things that I guess I was heard about happened when I was a kid. And mm. I've taught myself to not be hurt about stuff. And then, mind you, um, I've had to deal, other than family, like like how social media is today, shade room, everybody's gets bashed and stuff. I used to be on fucking the media takeouts and the Sandra Rose sure. and talking crazy about me then. So I had to learn to like have this backbone and be mm. like, oh, I don't care what anybody thinks and I don't care. So... I feel like maybe a long, not a long time ago, but a, a good time ago, I let stuff stop actually hurting me. So what was it that hurt you? This is <laughs> the part I'm beeping like, out. That's the question. Yeah, no, that's that's what I said I'm beeping out. But okay, what? Okay, what hurt me? Why, why you want to know if, if I'm really curious now? Oh, because you want to know. Yeah, I'm oh, curious. Okay, now. Okay, yeah, okay. This is outside. Of, okay, I t- I t- I'm really going to beep it out for sure. Okay, so I would say what hurt me would be like, I'm honestly like my mom being like. With tip all the time. Damn. Like. Time stamp that. <laughs> not time stamp that. I feel I like even, even now and today, like, that's how it is. Mm. Like, they're just tied to the hip. But now I'm grown, so it's like, I can't really give a f- but I get, I can't. It's just like. Damn. Type thing. Damn, that's real. That's how You I feel mean. like. You get time stamp this. You feel like. Yeah, definitely. But also, it's like he don't want. He doesn't. But it's like they'd rather go places with each other. So anytime he gotta go, she gotta go. He, she gotta go. He go. It's just like. Damn. So. So that's what I'm saying. As far as like. When I say, listen, we, I'm about to tell you what you just unlocked, though. Like, for real. As safe as you're trying to be, this helped me. Like, so I met my stepdaughter at eight. Okay. I'm the same way. I want my, my girl to be everywhere with me. I didn't even take into account how that might make her feel. All right. See, and that's See why, how you help it? Okay, okay. But I can't say that to the world. I can say that to y'all. But that guy. Not that I really know y'all like that. But know that, you like that. Pirate, but that boy. guy, but even <laughs> but but like, the fact that you're saying, like, I can't say that to the... That got to hurt, though. Not really. No? No, because I don't have to express my feelings to, like, be, like, happy or... It won't fix me to tell people that. So that don't make you feel a little better, better getting off your chest? Let me see. I don't know. I think it is kind of a different feeling. <laughs> Not like, really, though. Because nah. I, I don't know y'all like that. Like, I honestly, in, my, in the back of my head, I'm thinking... Who they gonna run off and tell? Who did like I don't know. It's not oh. like I'm gonna talk to y'all tomorrow and next week and for a month that we gonna check up on each other and shit like that. So I don't feel comfortable like I'm gonna check. I'm, I'm gonna check her up or though. Are you? Yeah. Are you gonna check up on me? Bro, Cause I you was I, not nice before I met you. Today. Bro, I think I hit Beja just saying what's up one day. I think like yeah, I'll be did checking she, up. You yeah. think? Are you sure? Like I really is that your friend though? She's not my friend. Of okay. Like, friend is a strong word, but yeah. I wouldn't mind never being my friend. Like, okay. like she's, I, I asked him about her, right? I asked okay. Carmen, I asked Carmen, a, friend, a few times. I'm like, yo, how's Beja, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, even after the interview, like, yeah. she got super vulnerable. 
Okay. And she was like, yo, oh, I Beja, love that. That's Beja. Is that <laughs> Yeah, like. Beja is going, and she's that type of person. Yeah, so like, like no, nah, I'll definitely check up on you, bro. So like, sweet. for real. No, no cap. Like, it's it's plenty of people I interview, and I'm just like, yo, like, I don't really want nothing. Like just seeing how you feeling. I respect that, Jay. I got it. I'm glad I came here today, because talking to you on the phone, I had a different perspective. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure what I was pulling up to. Kyrie, you got them two time steps for me, though, for real? <laughs> Can I say, Thank though, me. about you and your um, stepkid, your mom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help I mean, me, your yeah. baby? Yeah, yeah, for sure. She can't go everywhere you go. She can't. My girl or my stepkid? Your step girl. Brother. Your girl. Sometimes one of y'all got to stay back with the kid. Okay, well, so... Well, you probably not traveling, though, everywhere, yeah, every day, every... Yeah, I'm not day, every, on that level. Yeah, no, no, okay, yeah, no. But it's, not I, that, it's not that serious. But even the presence, though, is that... Could, could you see... Could that be a thing? I'm honest. Like, give me game. The presence? Like, just the presence of, oh, like, yeah. always kicking yeah. it in. Yeah, it's, it goes a long way, too. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, I was dramatic, like, singing out the window. Like, oh, you ever seen the movie Joe Dirt? No? I've heard of no? it. No? No? I've heard of it. Y'all all from Baltimore? Y'all are so Baltimore. You from so Chicago. Funny. Well, yeah. You seen Joe Dirt? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Chicago is is very much like Baltimore as well. Like, mm. anyways, I was dramatic. Like, oh, I just want my dad to be here. If mm. I look at the moon, I hope he's looking too. And like, I don't know. I feel like kids just long to have their parents. Like, mm. I grew up in a great house. Like my grandparents. My grandparents are literally the reason why I am. Like, I don't take no shit, all that. But I wanted my parents. You know what's crazy about this? What? First of all, I feel like I'm the king therapist at this point. Because I interview, like, a couple of your siblings. Really? Yeah. So, you know, King. Oh, yeah. You interviewed King? Yeah. So, he says something similar. What did he say? So, like, uh, part of the reason why, like, you know, he took that the route he took. Because, again, everybody think King just came from this. Mm-hmm. Lavish bathroom. He's like, nah, bro. I was in my grandmother's crib. The, the most. This is what he said. Like, yeah. bro, I was. <laughs> Him too. And she lived in like. That's what he said. Yeah. That's why I get so frustrated when people, and I feel like my mom as well. Like when people, like try to attack King. For one, he's a kid, and all kids do dumb shit. All boys go through phases and all this extra shit. But King is not like. I mean, all of us. It's like it. Get, everybody's like, oh, well, you grew up behind a gate. Or in this big mansion, but it's like the house. A house does not make you mm. who you are. All kind of things could be going on in the house. Not that it was just a bunch of terrible going on inside the house, but a house doesn't make you the person that you are. And I said one. I think I said something similar to King. You know what's crazy about us as people? Mm-hmm. We're more similar mm-hmm. than we think. Very much so. Because. In poverty, right? The poverty mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm looking at somebody who's famous, like, or rich, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I wish I had that. Yeah, for sure. And the person who's rich, right, mm-hmm. or famous, is looking down like, man, I wish I had right. the ability to be normal. Right. Right? Like, Because so even true. like you said, like, just thinking about King, talking about King is like, bro, do you... Do y'all know how much he probably wish he could be regular because... Mm-hmm. I probably did worse shit than King as right. a kid, That's how but it I wasn't be. magnified, right. right? Like the fact that you can't even make a simple, mo- bro. You can't even stay <laughs> none. Can't. That's the pressure of being a famous person's child. Mm. You come out like you can't work in no McDonald's or like you can't handle no regular job. Then you just didn't do enough because. Your parents are like stars. Why would you ever be working somewhere? I used to want to work in Bath and Body Works so bad. My mom used to be like, no, Hmm. you can't. She's like, it'd be cuter for you to like never work a job. And I'm just like, I don't understand that. Damn. That's how it be. Yo, do you understand how, do you understand how powerful you sharing your story is? Have you ever had like these conversations on interview? No. The funny thing is, though, I knew I would be having these conversations before I came here. For real? I knew it. Just based off watching two seconds of you and Beige's interview, and it being a conversation, and then knowing that she talked about her dad and stuff that she doesn't even really open up to about the world, I'm just like, oh, this is going to be a real conversation. Do you understand how much power you have speaking on it, though? 
Like mm. you, I feel like people, some people would think they gave away their power, but I think mm-hmm. being vulnerable, you gain power. I think that um, I would love to see it that way. Mm. And I feel like me and you will feel like that here in this room. Yeah. But a lot of people will not take it that way. So let me ask you this then. Okay. Worst case, let's paint a picture. Can I put some lip gloss on before we continue this? Do your thing. Yeah, for uh, sure, for sure. Get a, Put the camera on me so she don't... You know yeah, saying? just a little lip gloss. Yeah, man. What's up, fellas? Yeah, my guys was excited that she was coming. Really? Yeah. I fuck with the guys. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with the guys. I like them. I they like had to give guys. each other pep tops, like pe- oh, pep talks. All right. Let's not, let's not oh, cap. Oh, they mad. I put them on the spot, let's too. Let's not cap. Let's not cap. <laughs> no, let's they, not cap. They, no cap. They was like, bro, don't be not flirting, no. bro. I, I had I'm to put crying. them niggas on blast. I want to clear something up, though. Are we still recording? Yeah, we been recording. I want to clear something up. <laughs> it's me. I'm sorry. Y'all, sh- you shouldn't have got me drinking. I did not mean that. What you- your story was a Baltimore thing. I Bro, mean, you don't don't. I got don't to. Back- no, I don't got do that. To. No, I got to. Because I f- Baltimore. Let me just say, I feel like a lot of people from Baltimore. I have to because no, he said bro. he said they're gonna kill me for that. No, he said they're gonna kill me. It's for a that. J- First of all, it's not a joke. But not, so that's I didn't I about mean. To, I just said it wrong is what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to fix how they I know, said it. The, and that's what I was know? about to go. That's the the pitch I was about to paint. That's what I was about to go. So I was, was gonna you? say I was. I was gonna say let's paint a picture, right? Let me fix it, Jay. Come on now. Go ahead. I didn't mean it was a Baltimore thing. I meant that I feel like pe- a lot of people from Baltimore um, don't have the a good up. Bringing. Like, don't. No. Is that worse? Yeah. I'm sorry. Not upbringing. Not upbringing. <laughs> I'm don't, you. Don't aren't like don't have us like stable. No. All right. All right. I mean, I got cut you. Cut that out. Cut I'm that a, out. Just I, say what I said. I, I, I got you. I got you. Is it a Baltimore I got you. thing no, though? Basically, what she said. It's not just Baltimore. It's plenty of people in the inner cities and the and mm-hmm. uh, and the it's not the just Baltimore. In, yeah, in a neighborhood, no. like it could be Chicago. It could be Baltimore. It could be uh. It could be Philly. It could be. It could be Atlanta. Uh, it, honestly, yeah. So a lot of us in these situations deal with poverty. Think about it. The government dropped cocaine off in the hood. Exactly. So a lot of us in the inner city suffered this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when, when I say I'm from Baltimore and she say a lot of people from Baltimore, that's the inner city. Mm-hmm. So again. Okay. I hate that you gotta be like. I feel sorry. <laughs> I feel because I, I, I I do empathize. I, I, I like I empathize. I love that. Usually I would be like. But I get it. Like, because okay. you was able to t- talk to me about it. So I get it. But it's like, I hate that for you. Like, I get it. But what, what part I, do you hate for me? What, that you got to be so, like... Reserved? Yeah. Like, that sucks. I feel like I don't have to be like that. I choose to be like yeah, that. Yeah, because you're a, a commendable person. Anybody that has morals don't want nobody to look at them. Like, of course. Okay, okay. Yeah, but, but sometimes... But you hate that for me. Yeah, because... I feel that. Like, because me, I'm very respectable and very... I have morals and all that, mm-hmm. ethics, but... Bro, like, if y'all don't get it, y'all don't get it. Yeah. I know where I stand, and that's why I was going to go. Let's paint a picture. Okay, come on, let's do it. Worst case scenario. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know, a clip, go shave room, and oh, I don't know. Worst case, right? Mm-hmm. And they just see the clip. Let's say it's 25 seconds. All right. We damn near an hour in. Mm-hmm. Let's say, worst case scenario, they see 25 seconds, right? All right. And they kill you on Instagram. Probably will. What does that really mean, though? If if the conversation was really good, we know what came from it. The mm-hmm. people, the people who watch, mm-hmm. know what came from it. The people who don't, the ignorant people, is going to be ignorant people. Mm-hmm. What does that really mean? Mm. Okay, let's see. Where do we start? <laughs> She's like, I know. She's like, I think I know. Um. Okay, for me, it's not going to mean much. It will make me feel away. Yes, but I won't broadcast that to other people. Most likely, if someone's put up. Of me, I'll just not comment and not show any light to it on my end. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't make... doesn't hurt. It doesn't mean it doesn't hurt, yes. That's one thing. It always hurts. For sure. But I feel like in this world we are in today, not that you can... I don't really believe in, like, cancel culture, but I feel like it's easier for people to, like, start this hate train on you. Okay. This is thing. true. Yeah. So now we're in a world where it's kind of like you feel like you would want to kind of be a little more okay careful about the things yeah. you say because people love to jump on this whole bandwagon of like, you know. So, okay. Let me push back some okay. more. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, uh, What's the comedian name? 
Mm-hmm. Tiffany Haddish. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. People jumped on a hate train because of the videos that they, that, that came out, right? Uh, mm-hmm. the, right, right, right. The kid thing, molesting oh. kids and things like yes, that, right? Yes. They was able to go to the video mm-hmm. and see. So it gave them ammunition. Mm-hmm. This, however, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say 25 second clip. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Let's just say it's a Baltimore thing, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, this, she don't know what she's talking about. Cool. Yeah. Like, when they go back to the. But when they go back to the video, mm-hmm. I feel like they'll be able to say, oh, she clearly ain't mean it like that. This, if you now, if you was to double down on it, now they could like you cancel. But I feel like for the conversation we had, they will be able to come to the video and the real ones will be like, "Bro, y'all dragging it." I feel like we had we we are able to distinguish the two now. True, but do you think most people will go back to the video? Most people won't. However, however, however I do think that. The other side will get out, right? Mm-hmm. People will see like... Okay, so it's like a balance, maybe. Yeah, I think the other side... Like, it's been times where... This might be crazy. I got to oh. trade lightly. It's okay. been times where we've seen... <laughs> let's say, like, the worst of the worst. Let's say, like... Trade lightly, please. I'm going to say it. Fuck it. I'm trying, but hopefully they, they judge my brain and not my heart. Okay. We've seen police brutality, right? Mm-hmm. A instance. Let's say a instance. Okay. And nowadays, you'll hear people say... I'm curious to see the whole video. No. Nowadays you'll see it. Like and now, oh, well, now and, and, I can and, and, it. And, and, and not first of all, police brutality and, and totality brutality is absolutely wrong. Mm-hmm. It, it but it, it it do be substance where sometimes where people be doing a bit too much. Mm-hmm. And then you'll see the video. I think it was one video that came out, and then the other video came out and matter of yup. The lady, yup, perfect example. Ooh. Ooh. So it was a lady. She was in the park, her and her husband or something like that. Mm-hmm. A cop stopped them in the park, mm-hmm. and it was like, you can't be in the park after this. Whoa, no, no, no. They didn't show that. They didn't show that. Okay. So they showed, the first part that came out was, um, she was like, he was like, put your hands behind your back, right? Put your hands behind your back. Mm-hmm. And she's like, why am I being arrested? Why am I being detained? Mm-hmm. That was the first part that came out. Okay. And everybody was like, yo, they dra- like he dragging it. He was doing too right, much. Right. Shortly after, mm-hmm. the rest of the video came out, mm-hmm. and it was like, honestly, bro, she did do a bit too much. Okay. So people that sh- want the whole video. That shows that okay. yeah, you might could get dragged a second, but when they tap in, they be like, bro, y'all dragging it. Like she clearly ain't mean it. Okay. It's a big maybe though. It is. I wish you I do empathize. I empathize. It's a big maybe. You only it's you it's not you cannot make a whole bunch of mistakes anymore. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Imagine how I feel. Hey. I'm you a got man the hard with, job. I'm a man with integrity, right? Mm-hmm. Let's paint this picture. All right. Because I, I empathize with you. Empathize with me now. Fuck Yeah, that. come on. Let's do it. I'm a man with integrity trying to do a podcast, right? Mm-hmm. We know bullshit selves. Everybody talk, <laughs> say they want to talk. They want to hear positive. No, y'all don't. Because clearly the shit they that's don't. getting attention is the bullshit. All the time. That's honestly what's getting the Right. So everybody be like, I'm tired of podcast they need to stop selling mics no y'all not because y'all could <laughs> no, comment no. on it and when y'all retweet it and y'all talk about it that's why you giving more right. attention to it right so you don't so i say all to say because i have integrity mm-hmm. I, i'm a, but i'm still a journalist so i still have to get the 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 i still have to ask the questions that the people want to know about mm-hmm. but i still have to have some type of integrity mm-hmm. to like have a decent be a decent person i like that but the decent person ain't getting no clicks. Yeah, never. Niggas don't care about that. So like, I'm never. I'm just trying to think like like okay, but like I, off camera, what I was asking, all right, cool. How can I at least trick it so right. I can say it, mm-hmm. even if we don't go too far deep, mm-hmm. but I can at least post it on there, right? Mm-hmm. Like, so it's hard, bro. I get it. I I see. I see. What, <laughs> now I I feel for you. It's like people don't. That's care. a hard job. People don't care. Yeah, no. All right, so let's can we have some fun a little bit? All right, let's do it. All right, hopefully you say don't you don't say them. This is public oh, information. Lord. Hopefully you don't say oh, beat this Lord. up. I'm a journalist. I know a little something. So I got okay, you come. Bit. That's why you had to plug the journalist host. All right, come a on. little bit, right? We had a great come conversation. On. Let's we have did, some fun. We did. We did. All right. Yo, what were you thinking, bro? Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't like how this is starting. <laughs> what was I thinking? What were you? How wrong? did you forget? Oh, <laughs> y'all are annoying. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, uh, here we no. go. 
Bro, what was you like? How did you not remember you had the strap in the bag, bro? Okay. Help me. Okay, so anybody who knows me personally, Kyron, <laughs> <laughs> knows that I I have like Dory brain. That's one. Oh my god. I don't hardly remember. Shit. Like, I don't know. I feel like living my lifestyle. You, and it's just like you see and do things all day. It's just like, uh, or maybe just me being a Pisces. I don't know what it is. It's just like I'm just like, oh, this is this is this that. It's like I'm just going with the flow. And this gun that I had in particular was very, very small. Mm. Very, very small. For the people that, let's paint the picture for people that don't know, if they don't know. Okay. This girl. Oh. Zanique goes to the airport. She forgets she got the gun in the bag. She gets arrested. That's what we're talking about for y'all that don't know. Right, right. I like that. I like the plugs. Okay, so it was small. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, so it could fit in all of my purses. Literally, not a purse that I had that I did not pack it in. Mm. And I don't know. It's like it just. I just was used to packing it in my next purse, packing my next purse. That I, I guess I, somehow, sometimes would forget is even there. Like you have so much stuff in your purse as a female. It's like it covered it. And you want to line it in this open carry, so like it's, you can exactly. Have it, it's yeah. like it's what I'm doing. I don't go nowhere without it. Like I travel by myself everywhere. I was going to the airport by myself and going to see my person at the time. So I'm really just trying to get on a late night flight to go see my person at the time. <laughs> and I she's wasn't really a sneaky link in. No, it was not my sneaky link. I don't do shit. Well, like she's that. trying to get. Some was, late night loving and exactly and forget the strap and now exactly. now he he at home with blue balls because you ain't even make it there crying <laughs> so and now he tight. definitely <laughs> had to go to jail instead um yeah and it's just like I literally forgot how long you was in jail I was not in jail long like a couple I I didn't like go to the back okay. or anything you just I holding just, holding yeah stuff. I was like in was holding cell type situation but I wasn't even in the holding cell like I was sitting by the holding cell. So this is the privilege of being. It was famous. very much privilege. This is the privilege. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't knock my mother because at the end of the day, <laughs> <laughs> I live a nice lifestyle. It could have got really bad. It could have got worse. And I got So did they see- recognize you? Like, did they know? Or did you say, my mom is. No, no, no. When I got to the jail, it wasn't given. It was late. It's- First okay. of all, can I cuss on here? I'm sorry. Can I cuss on here? We ain't curious that much, but like... Yeah, I'm we have once, not been cussing. Once every 30 minutes. Okay, I've been doing good. I'm not going to cuss. Um, It was really late. Mm-hmm. And so by the time I got there, it was probably like 1. I'm going to say I was catching like a 10 or 11 o'clock flight already. And I had to sit in the airport holding cell for like an hour. Or maybe not an hour. I was probably, I'm probably over-exaggerating. Like 30 minutes before my parent or my mom was out of town. She laughed at me on the phone and said, girl, I'm in New York. She laughed at you? She definitely laughed because she had did the same thing before. Oh, it was in the family. Exactly. <laughs> but the thing is, when it happened, like, even the cop told me, like, it was some something that, like, a law had just passed that, mm. like, to why I had to go to jail, basically. Mm. So, um, yeah, I was, you know, in the jail for, like, a little minute, and I was very close to the hotel, so, like I was telling you, so I knew that, like, this was not for me. Even the holding cell was just, like... No, <laughs> it was so many people in there, and like they were up, and it was just giving like nervous. I was nervous, but I was very um excited to take my mugshot picture. What? That's that social media. You That's like, that social gonna media. Post, they're gonna post this on Shave Room, like they gonna, if they gonna post it. I'm, I'm gonna. Fair, look the- yeah. I, said, I have to I have to do what I can. If they gonna post it, like I have to make and the thing is my hair was crazy, like it was all out. But when I was in the holding cell um in the airport, I started thinking about it. Like what's what am I about to do? Obviously I'm not going home. Like You the problem. I'm I'm definitely <laughs> it's, it's very much giving you the problem. I found a hair tie and I'm like, let me put it at the top. Like, let me give it a look. I said, let me give it a look because I'm about to head to the jail. <laughs> It's going to get a picture. Thinking. This is literally what I was thinking. I saw the guy taking out my taking all the stuff out my gun. I was like, am I going to get my gun back? He's like, no. I'm like, all right. It just was, it was a lot for one night. That's I was wanting to take a nice flight. Hey, at least you got some stuff to tell Hunter. Hey, 
See what I'm saying? That's, that's a great story to tell your friends. Yeah, now I double, triple check before I go yeah. to the airport. That's crazy, bro. A lesson. Yeah, it's a lesson. All right. <laughs> oh, Another Lord. thing. Oh, all right. <laughs> Wait, what happened? How many things have I done? You going real, like... Bro. It's dramatic. Is it true? Oh, Lord. One day you're in a restaurant. Right? You want Izzy uh-huh. to go out. Uh-huh. And they recognize him, mm-hmm. but they don't recognize you. They go in the bathroom uh-huh. and they DM you and say, yo, Izzy with another chick, but it was you. That is so true. <laughs> was that embarrassing or like? Let me tell you why that was embarrassing to me. Not that it was really embarrassing, but it was just like. Like I'm bigger than like, him, first of all. Let's be real. No, no, no. That wasn't what I was embarrassed no. with. That's definitely not what I was embarrassed about. I was embarrassed about, do I, am I catfish? Oh. That's all I was thinking about. Because, mind you, I had on the makeup. Oh. I pretty much look like this. You see how she tried to, like... <laughs> I pretty much look like this. I had a bun in my head, and I had my makeup done. I forgot what I was doing that day. And we went to Chili's. And the girl DM'd me later, like, Izzy was out with a... And she sent me the receipt, and it was, like, our receipt. And I'm just like... <laughs> I was just embarrassed. Like, damn, do I give catfish on Instagram? That's literally all I was thinking about. Mm-hmm. So you wasn't like tight that like, like how you not recognize me? Like, bro, like I'm no, Johnny. no, I don't, I don't, um, no, I don't feel ways about that because honestly, when I go, I rather not be recognized. I still wear my mask everywhere because at the end of the day, I go out looking crazy nine times out of ten. I could actually believe that throughout our conversation. I believe that you probably don't want to be recognized. Yeah, no, I rather just be on my. Lonesome and like not be bothered. Like I said, I really do not f- with people. I f- people that I meet. Let me stop saying that. I f- with people that I meet in person. I'm like they're cool. Mm. Y'all, everybody in this room is cool to me. But I feel like a lot of people just do not have the same mindset as me. Like I don't really rock with a lot of people. So I it's a lot know. of weirdos. It's a lot of weirdos out here. Like a lot. Of and you get to see it. A way more nowadays with social media and just things that people comment, things people say. It's just like, well, where do you come up with this? Why are you like this? So no, I mean, I go, I go a lot of places. I'm not gonna say a lot of. I go places where Izzy or whoever I'm with is known, and I'm not known, and that's fine with me. Yo, was you like? I it's mean, like what research did you? Now I'm shit. nervous. No, no, it's not, it's, I'm done with that. I'm done with going? that. This okay. is curious, not, curious okay. curiosity, you know. Were you like? I gotta say this. You remember what the uh, movie ATL? Yes. Because I feel like it's very much given new new. Like, because I know Izzy. Like, were you like excited to get around like gangster shit? <laughs> <laughs> like, was you like? I'm crying. Was you like? Did that turn you on? Like, oh my god, he's a gangster. <laughs> Um, like, take me to the hood. Take me to Baltimore. It's not giving, like, take me to the hood. Like, I've been to the hood uh, plenty of times before any guy you know, can take me to the hood. girls love that type of shit. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's, like, it's exciting, I guess I would say. And I feel like people are going to take me out about this. Like, I feel like people always say, or I hate to say, like, people, like, I just be, whatever. A lot of people say, like, um, girls who have, like, rich parents and shit like that have, like, low standards. Mm. And it's not always that we have low standards, but it's not like we're it's different, just different though. It's different. It's like, like yeah, I'm not like... I'm not I'm not a person who like looks for a person like you have to have money and you have to have your life together because I've been around that my whole life. That doesn't excite me. You have you to actually chicken box. Yeah, you like, have you to feel... actually excite me. <laughs> Give me a good time. I want to have fun. I want to be on some real shit. I don't want to be Oh, going to the have some tea. Like that's what people expect for somebody like me to. That's what they expect or want me, kind of want me to be with. So, it's all about like for me, just like just genuinely f-ing with somebody. Mm. That's hard. Let's go have fun. I ain't going to nowhere crazy. I was just curious. Yeah. I just because it's, it's giving new new right now. Is like, it giving new new? A little bit. So know, like fake hood. I, I don't. Yeah, like I don't know you though. Like that's, yeah, that's not, fine. You know what I'm that's fine. Like, I'm not gonna hold that against like, you. Like you think Zani, is he, again because I know Izzy. It's like right. I'm just thinking like you probably like take oh. me to the hood. Like, let's <laughs> yeah. go. Like it's not giving. Where take, that, where that, no, I'm not gonna lie. In Baltimore is not giving take you to the. I don't feel safe safe in Baltimore. Not even with Izzy. I mean, I feel safer. 
<laughs> but I feel like at any moment something good could answer, happen. Good, good answer, good answer. Uh, yeah, I feel like I, mean, I don't moment, feel safe for him. Yeah, no, it's not <laughs> that. Like, I definitely feel safer. If I'm going to be in Baltimore, I would love to be with, I would, you know, that's my what I prefer, but... I don't know. I feel like it's not. Yeah, it's a crazy. City. I feel like people in Baltimore be hating on people for like you don't. They don't want people to see people win. Yeah, no. Like so. It's like they do until you start winning. So what now I will say is now you a target. Is, no, for sure. That's anywhere. What I will say is true. Baltimore. It definitely is everything you hear. I'll be lying to say it wasn't like mm-hmm. when people talk about the wire. It is. It's all of that. Okay. It's all of that. Mm-hmm. However, what I will say is. If you're not into that, mm-hmm. like you're not into that. Like you got to be into that for it to be that. Okay. You know what I'm saying like like I get what you're like saying. if you're not like if you are most of the times niggas is minding their business. Mm-hmm. Like they not most of the times. Okay. You I have some knuckleheads, but like most of the times you mind your business. Like you ain't bothering nobody. It's got to be your thing, basically. Yeah. You be on some shit. But it, it's a lot of niggas that that be, be that thing. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they get, <laughs> they get into that, that shit. That shit get That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Because, like, every city is like that. Yeah. And when you really think about it, I feel like in Baltimore, it's kind of like more of that. Because they really... Like, you got to really be like, yeah. oh, 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 who, 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 what's going on? Because you got to think about, like, a, 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 well, I don't want to see no city because... But yeah, I, some I really cities, hate to keep saying Baltimore. Yeah. I'm but sorry. no, some cities, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like, let's say, hypothetically, mm-hmm. Atlanta. Okay. Let's just let's just say it. Put it out there, please. Talk about a it. lot of the music people, mm-hmm. music in the streets is kind of becoming one. Mm-hmm. But a it lot is. of people that say music, they have a lot to lose. Mm-hmm. So they might let some little shit slide. Mm-hmm. Baltimore, we're not we're not on a pedestal yet. We're not we don't have the spotlight. That's a great way to put it. So even I mean, I like even a nigga that's lit, he's still like y'all just don't give a his fuck. name. But his name, like if somebody disrespect his name. Mm-hmm. That's he can That's lose it. his credibility. Yeah. You feel me? Like think about it. If you lit, right? Like you know, like sometimes you might it might hurt your feelings, but like mm-hmm. man, I got more to lose. Mm-hmm. Like I like I can't get into that. But right. in Baltimore, right, your name, like mm-hmm. your your credibility is everything. So if yeah. a nigga try to play with that, I'm not that lit yet. Oh, right. I'm yeah. It's 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 it's, it's go. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Like. I know. That's why it's like that, cause it's like, bro, yeah. we ain't no, we ain't got no spot, like, bro, like niggas. Nah, bro, like I'm not rocking like that. Like, that's a great way. The to shit play. I got to lose is the shit you trying to play with, and that's my. And name. that's understanding. Like I understand that. Yeah, so it's it's really. That's like, it's I really cool. f- with. I really f- with y'all. Nah, we we, we, we f- with you though. I I appreciate it. I'm glad that y'all f- with me because. Nah, you the what, 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 what my man say? You uh. What you man say? You, you my folks in them. Oh. Yeah, I watched a little bit of that interview too before I came here. <laughs> what was your first reaction? What was you like? Oh, bitch. No, actually, the funny part <laughs> is when I first watched it, I was just like, great answer. And then I watched it the other day, right before I came here, so like two days ago. I'm like, my folks and shit. <laughs> But at the same time, I feel that like... That is what y'all say, though. Yeah, that is what we say. Yeah. It was actually... It was, it was a great answer. My response probably didn't make it no better because I didn't yeah, know no you, better. you was time. hyping I'm it like up my like folks. my folks. Like, <laughs> and then I'm... Yeah, when you were saying that, I'm like, yeah. Like, why the fuck would he say that? <laughs> but in reality... It's like I, saying my dog. Like, that's my yeah, dog. Yeah, like my dog. Like, I'm more than that. But at the end of the day, like, when I... When at first I was getting myself riled up about it in my head, but I'm just like, I really don't know what place we were in at that moment. And I know that when I watched it, you know, when it actually got put, when you put it out, that I was cool with it because mm. we had to have really been in that place for him to say that. Can I? I want to be honest though. I'm not okay. just saying this because you're here. Okay. I swear on oh, everything. Lord. I wish I could find a message right now. I just talked about it. Oh, Lord. That's one of my favorite interviews. Really? Yeah. Because he was able to be him. Like, yeah. He ain't, like, even with the, like, the kids shit we were talking about, like, not yeah. wanting your kid to be, get, like, he was transparent as, f- like, Bro, those are the best interviews. Like, he didn't give no... Like, bro, no, he was him. Izzy is a very... I feel like that's why I feel so many ways. Like, how I said, Baltimore people just don't give a Because Izzy is that person. Yeah. Like, that's why I really... F- Izzy. Like, but that's Izzy why I was so good. Because just him... Like, he was real. Like, nah, of course I wouldn't want my son to be gay. Like, right. people be scared to say... Like, bro, yeah. that, but that's real. Like, yeah. bro, like, I don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't mean I'm not going to embrace him. not love him. But right. people be trying to... bounce Like, hot... Saying the political correct shit, like right. that was one of our favorite interviews, bro. I love that, like no, for I, real. That's why I fuck with Izzy. Yeah. Extremely real. That was one of my favorite interviews, bro. He don't give a. That's why I love him. Oh. I love him. It's so cute. Is it? It is. How cute? I'm just kidding. Hmm. <laughs> Not oh. <laughs> I'm about to instigate. Like how much? All <laughs> right. Love him? Now, how much do you love him? Yeah. I really love him. I do. You think I y'all know- get married one day? Well. 
I mean, you said it. You I'm adore. not. I already said it. Like, I'm not a. I'm not a marriage person as of now. I'm 26 years old. I'm not you're, like you're in young the. As fuck. I'm young, right? I'm not in the like, like marriage is just the farthest kind of thing in my mind. And I feel like in our day and age, people try to make it seem like, oh no, you're supposed to be getting marriage. I'm seeing too many baby showers, but I feel like to each his own. Do y'all still like get in? Okay, now I'm now I'm just on journalists being nosy oh, shit. Yeah, I'm here now. Fuck yeah, it. Come on, where we at? What Niggas gonna judge me, but you know I love you, bro. So are y'all, do y'all still do y'all get caught in the um still trying to make it work type thing? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. All the time. Cause we still love each other. Right. Like, and that's and that's I feel like I feel like that's one of the most important things when you have a baby with someone. Like mm. people tried to clown me, like, oh, she's not married to him and this, this, and that and say all these things about it. But And because I said, like, oh, having a baby is easier than marriage and shit like that. But I feel like it's more than a marriage type thing, if you say. Mm. Like, you can really love somebody and have a bond with each other and not feel like... And not be even thinking about, like, marriage. And, oh, let's mm. lock this down because this is the only way it's going to stay together. This, is and that. Like, me and Izzy really love each other. That's why shit with us actually works. Mm. I feel like co-parenting, whatever the case it may be, being friends, being in a relationship, it works. All that, the sex, all that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't lie. Like, shit, when you get in a relationship, bro, some of that shit be like, yo, man, I'm not trying to, like... I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we get <getting> personal. <laughs> if we get personal, yeah, it all works. It all works. It only works though if both parties are single. I'm not with none of that. Oh, none of that. Oh, baby mama shit. I don't like okay. that. None okay. of that. Oh, baby mama, I can whatever I want. I'm not with that shit. If he get a girl, if I get a man, y'all gotta that be shit single. Dead. I'm not. Yeah, I don't want anybody to misconstrue what we saying here. Okay, I mean that shit. That shit, that shit probably still work better. Shit, honestly, like shit, you can get your cake and eat it too. As long as we both can do that, yeah. Oh, that hurt. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that hurt. It, the, the nigga only be one to have a cake and eat it too. It, it exactly. don't usually go both ways, so it has to be mutual. If that's what we doing now. You took it somewhere else. But that hurt, though. Like, I ain't gonna lie. That's what like, I'm saying. The, so how, but I'm being how, obnoxious. I'm, I'm being obnoxious. Like, I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's supposed to go both ways. But the nigga don't want to never hear exactly. that. Like, exactly. Exactly. Right. Like, we single. No, I'm single. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> how the guy like to go about it. <laughs> no, facts. So okay. if you don't want to hear it, then you shouldn't say that about yourself. That'd yeah. be the guy thing. Y'all like, oh, yeah, like we... And then when a girl says, it, it's like, oh, don't See, even say it. I'm smarter than that. I just won't bring it up. Like, just ne- we're never going to talk about that. We just, we just know we single, okay. and we ain't never going to speak about whatever you're doing. Exactly. Because I, I don't even want to hear it. Exactly. That'll break in the I'm heart. not a um really like I'm not zodiac zodiac crazy, but what's your zodiac? I'm a Gemini. Oh. Oh, you hate me? No, I don't hate you. Everybody hates Gemini. I know. I hate that for y'all. <laughs> I y'all, love it. y'all are really great people. You love me. I love I like it for us. I like that. Because the people that get it. The very few that get it, mm-hmm. just make it so much more special. I like that. It's like, nice. Yeah. No, I really love Gemini's, but y'all are the most hated. Y'all sure. are, um, what's the right word? Misunderstood. Misunderstood. Show. Sure. Y'all can be a little complicated, too. A lot of complicated. Oh, okay, okay. But as long a as lot. you know, y'all can be very complicated. A lot. Yeah, facts. Don't care. Yeah. Which but y'all are good people. I'm You're... a Pisces. I heard Pisces was crazy, though. I heard, like, Pisces are crazy, like, um, especially the men. The men. I was just about to say, the men are the craziest Pisces. But Pisces, we're supposed to have all the signs in us. So be, I feel like we're just naturally, like... Understanding? Mm, understanding, no? yes. That's a Gemini But, thing like, too, weird though. people, kind of. Oh, okay. Because, like, Geminis, we're very, like, understanding. Oh, okay. That's probably I why. I can see that. So, you do make music. I do. What are you doing right now? Are we? Where, are you taking a break? Like, what's going on? I love we got into so much personal shit before we got here. That was nice. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I really liked that. Oh, thank it was you. like a conversation. Yeah, and you got into the business. Yeah, let's, let's, we gotta handle business. Let's handle business. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, I've been making a lot of music. Obviously, I haven't put out an, a solo project in forever, pretty mm. much. So, I'm honestly only here. Not only here, but. I didn't. Ha- I didn't want to come here until I had a date, mm-hmm. like dates for music and shit. But mm-hmm. I still don't have a date. But I'm here because it's coming out really soon, and my goal is for it to come out around my birthday, which is March twentieth. 
So that's perfect timing. Exactly. That's what yeah, I was thinking when yeah. you said March. I'm like, perfect timing. Let me go ahead and talk about it. Taking a break, mm-hmm. how is getting back in that space? Is it comfortable for you? Is it hard? <clears throat> Honestly, um, I feel like I haven't been able to weigh it out yet mm-hmm. because the easy part is creating the music, being in the studio. That is just like, that's what I've been doing my whole life. So that part is always comfortable for me. But actually, like, going out on stage, doing interviews used to be, like, one of my hardest things. Being in a group and shit, like, I hated doing interviews. Well, you did so. a really, really, really good job. We were just I talking about, like, it. good. Really? Yeah, bodied it. I appreciate that. Um, it was because you was... Gen- it was because you was... Because I was genuine. It I was, was telling y'all my, was all my secrets. I'm just saying. I like that. Um, just... I was definitely vulnerable here. Kyron, please... Make sure I'm not talking crazy. Oh no, we already took care of that. We got you. Did y'all? She. Oh I y'all really did. Shook y'all on y'all it, bro. did. I'm really you a did. man of my All word, right. bro. Like I'm good. Yeah. And you took timestamps. I like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but I feel like those things that I'm not all the way comfortable with. I'm not sure how. I'm, I can't say how comfortable it is yet until mm. I really start getting all the way into it. Like I haven't. I haven't put out any music, so I haven't been able to do a lot of things like out of my comfort comfort zone. So I told Beja this, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, OMG girls. Mm-hmm. I feel like I I've seen people my age say like that was their time, but mm-hmm. I think I missed. I think I was like in outside. I missed that oh, whole yeah. era. Now that's what I did see that in her interview, and I don't, I I didn't I ain't like that. I ain't like that. I ain't like that. Cause are you not my age? I'm 31. For real? I'm a grown ass. Not that. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> not that the big reaction. Cause 31 is for one not old at all. I'm about to be. I'll be 31 very soon. I'm 26. So <laughs> I'm 26. So nigga said I'll be 31 very I mean, soon. Because people try to five like, years. Yes, but it come. It comes so quick. Like, I didn't think... I'm be 27 this year. Like, I can't believe that. Let me ask you something. Okay. If you was 15 years old, mm-hmm. would you hang with a 10-year-old? It depends on how cool that 10-year-old is. You capping. I'm not capping. At 15, you know, de- not even an 11-year-old. Like, bro, like, bro, no, I'm going to a party. No, it depends. But I'm diff- I'm different. Like, I don't hang out with King right now. King is in fire. It's- I'm sorry. I'm- let me... Okay, we going two back change. on that. I'm just saying, I'm like, I love my little cousins. I be trying to invite them to the club. I be like, right, I'll bad, get y'all to the club question, tonight. They got to be cool. Whatever. All right, whatever. So You be mature. So Some you say you didn't like mature. that. I wanted to ask you this. Oh, damn, okay. we went back to the music. Give me pause for a second. Okay. How much of the comments mm-hmm. has an impact on your opinion, though? The comments? Yeah. Like, what you mean? Like, Because you can look at, like, hypothetically, you see Izzy, right? Mm-hmm. You see the interview. Mm-hmm. You look at it, it's cool. Mm-hmm. But then you start looking at the comments, now you think start to click and start to register. <laughs> like, same That's with so the funny, ba- Beja interview, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That shit was fire. Mm-hmm. Boy, her fans killed me. Like, she Did loved they? it. Like, Beja loved it. Right. I looked at the comments, oh my God, like, how you not know who the OMG girls is? Like, he didn't do his research. I'm and crying. It's like, wow. I'm like, so when you say you hated it, I'm like, how much was it really you? Wait, what did I say I hate? You was like, what it remind um, me? When I said I didn't, I don't know about the OMG girls, but you said, "Oh yeah, you thought we was the same age." Yeah, to see, yeah, that was. I yeah, feel like I that that wasn't my. I feel like I skipped that whole. You couldn't have. I swear, I don't know one song. Respectfully, res- no. Gucci this, Gucci that. Where the fucking boys at? They was really can going hard going? about that in Baltimore. Not can you keep going? Hold up, do not play the OMG girls. I'm not wait. I'm, that's, you had to, that's okay. Not no, playing. no. I'm, I'm just playing. saying like, like there was a lot of more songs, but you had to really be. If you don't know Gucci, this Gucci that. Where the boys at? You're not gonna know. Any can you sing it? All right, now. Not with the, I'm like the cadence, like for real. I'm not singing it now. No, like just give me the cadence, like but, Gucci this, Gucci. Everything. Thank you, Kyron. Gucci everything. Gucci, Gucci everything. everything. Gucci this. Gucci that. Gucci everything. Like no, nah, I don't. Baddie, if you a baddie and you know it, like nah. you you hear girls saying baddie, right? I hear girls saying baddie, but where I you didn't. think that came from? I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying I don't. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. I, I'm not. I'm. 
I've showed you so much respect. I'm, I'm not just saying this for no fuck. I don't know. We had our best shows in Baltimore. Like I believe you, when I probably wasn't and there. You ain't had no. You don't have the little sisters. It was like no. You don't have little sisters. No. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Now I can say okay. Yeah, I just, I just missed that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, it's really a moment. I was listening to like. What you was listening to? Destiny's Child and like. What? Yeah. No, you wasn't. What you? Kidding? What, bro? Like Destiny's Child had one of the best albums ever. Like. So when OMG Girls came out, you still listen to Destiny's Child? I probably that probably was when I was listening to Destiny's Child. What's your favorite Destiny's Child song? If I no, that's not that's not Beyonce. Um. What um, is it? I can tell you. No, you. No, it might be us. if. Oh, yeah, if. if I ain't got nothing, I got you. Uh oh. Somebody tell him. That's Beyonce. That's Wait, Beyonce. no, no, no. Hold up, hold up. No, no. Now there is a no. song. It's if. It's called. It's if. called if. Yeah. Yeah. It's but I know. But how did if song go by Destiny's Child? Because it's, you said that's your favorite. Okay, but that's wait. I might be what wilder. What is it? What is it, Jay? <laughs> oh yeah. If I don't oh, pick okay. up the phone like I used okay. to. Okay. That's what you was listening for to. You. Okay. Yeah. What? So what year was OMG Girls? What year did this come out? Mm. Don't ask me. Get your ass from me. Now, oh wow! So you, <laughs> I'm not good with my time oh, stamp. You kill me for not I'm knowing. Not you don't even know the date. Stamps. Give me the date. Oh, J. Girls, Ask Beja. Call Beja. I swear she will know all the dates. Kyron, you know what was the dates? Oh, I have no clue. I well, Kyron, I don't like. I don't. I have no clue. Was That's it just like a 2014? little like. No. Was... 2014 was definitely okay, was happening. This is 04, So. If I like this, yeah, I'm, yeah, like, I wasn't, Okay, you yeah. wasn't, yeah, you, okay, I get what you're saying. You weren't <clears> locked into the new shit. Bro. Yeah, like, I, like, honestly, 2014 might have been Wayne era, like, for me. Okay. Yeah. I can believe that. I mean, and, and you. 2012? I like that. And I'm, I'm probably listening to Gucci Man movie. Like, I'm probably, like, when did that come out? Movie? I, I don't know. OMG I don't girls. remember the year. I don't know. Like, yeah, bro. I'm being real. Playing this. But anyway, but you know what? what I was trying to say was. Okay. Y'all all grown now. Do you ever think about like some like coming back doing it again? No. Um, you know, we talk about doing a lot of things as a group. We haven't really um came to a full plan of like what that will be. Mm-hmm. Most of it is like releasing the old music cuz a lot of our fans want the old music and stuff that we didn't release. So, you know, um I feel like when we figure things out, that would be one of the first things. Could that work now if y'all like do a, a new song? And then it might not even be OMG Girls. It could just mm-hmm. literally be Zonique featuring or it could be uh, Zonique, Beja, and it don't even have to be OMG Girls. Could, could you, you think that it could work? Um, no, I think we could definitely. Well, we've done songs together, mm. you know, just like Zonique or Beja featuring Zonique type. Sh- I'm sorry. I don't want to keep cussing on your podcast. You sure? No, you good. Um, but I mean, I feel like with them, we could always do anything. Like our mm-hmm. relationships are great. We're still sisters. We still talk damn near every day. So I feel like whatever it is, it's possible. Mm. Speaking of the comments, mm-hmm. do you feel like uh, y'all fans made again? Because I'm not too familiar. Mm-hmm. Do you? I, I, I'm pretty sure y'all talk about the breakup. I don't want to go. I don't want to get into no rhetorical questions. I'm not rhetorical, but like redundant mm-hmm. conversations. But just curious, um, from Beja, like even you, like y'all always been sisters. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like the fans made it try to make it more than what it was, like about the breakup or whatever? Mm. Excuse me. Um, no, I wouldn't say that they made it more than what it was because I feel like it was such a um, like such a moment or such mm-hmm. a a moment, yeah, yeah. Like it was a a big thing happening that us saying that we were going to do our separate things or whatever the case was not something to kind of take lightly. Mm. I guess I would say, like especially in our time and like with our fan base and how things were set up for us. I think that it wasn't like I can't ever say that the fans like. So when I say make it more than what it was, like, mm-hmm. try to, like, make it more, like, an issue when it wasn't no issue. That's what I mean. Like, okay, do you like, think the fans are trying to, like, group. yeah, like, y'all broke up, oh, something must happen, or who did this and somebody did this? Mm. Like, bro, no, we probably just, was, just took a break. Um, 
honestly, in that time, I wasn't even, like, I was on social media, but I wasn't even probably, like, mostly paying attention too much to even say, like, oh, they're doing too much. Like, I don't even remember mm. how, I mean, I'm sure they were taking it pretty bad, but at the time, if I were a fan, I would have been... Trying uh, to dig. You know people try to dig. Yeah. Like, who who and, the fuck was it? Yeah, and I feel like any time a group breaks up, it's that, like... You always feel like, oh, something bad happens. You can't really say like a group ha- a group broke up, or you never feel like a group bro- broke up, and it was just for like no real reason. Mm. Like I feel like you always feel like something bad had to happen. So I don't think anybody really paid attention to that part of it. Okay, that makes sense. That's hard, bro. Mm-hmm. I think it's yeah. it's fire. Like, quite, do you think? Why do you think most groups go wrong now? Like just what you experience in a group. Mm. I think that most girl, well, not girl groups, but most groups probably go wrong with something that they just didn't agree on. Mm. Um, Because that's the biggest thing with a group. Everybody has to agree on the same thing to move forward. So I would think, just from experience, everybody doesn't agree on one, on one thing, and it becomes too hard, mm. and it breaks. Okay. Damn. How do you? How are you liking the the industry right now? Are you liking it? Are you listening to? How you feeling? The music? Yeah. Um. Specifically, honestly, women in women? the industry because I feel like it's been a big conversation about R and B and shit. Not even R, just women making women rappers. Just oh yeah, women beefing with other women, like people pinning women against each other. Like I feel like it's um. I feel like, for one, it's, like, women's time in the music industry. I feel like women are pretty much dominating when it comes to all genres of music. Well, I don't know all genres, but most genres of music. Um, Wait, what else did you say about music? I mean, about women? Women? Like, how do you... What are you Um, thinking about it? How are you liking it? um, And I also... I'm also very inspired by a lot of Mm. women in music right now. I feel like... um, I hate that people try to put people against people in music. And not even just in music, in everything. People are so like, oh, this person against this person. Or I saw a tweet the other day that made me so mad or just made me upset. It was like, um, Drewski came and took Desi's spot. and <laughs> It's like, what? Yeah, and he hasn't missed since. And it's like, yeah, Drewski's extremely funny. He has not missed, but... Everybody Desi has their too. own spot, right? And Desi is too. And everybody deserves to have their own spot. Like everybody, <laughs> we're all creators, and we're all trying to do our own thing. And there's room for us all. Like, so I hate that social media tries to put people against each other and make it like, oh, which one is your favorite type thing? Because everybody has their own lane. Mm. Um, but yeah, I feel like women are really doing their thing right now. You say you you, you is inspiring you right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Top three female artists that's mm. you looking at as inspiration. SZA. <sighs> mm. And baby, you know I love you. I never said this publicly. What about nobody? But mm. SZA doing her thing. She's fine. SZA, oh, she's extremely fine. Yeah. Ooh, love SZA. Baby, you look better, but you know I'm just trying to get rid of problems. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, let's let's. I don't know about that. You shouldn't even say nobody look fine. Like I'm just trying to give her, her props. Like, did you say she was fine though? Or did you say like she was a beautiful woman? Like, how... I might have said she was a beautiful woman. I think I, I think said that's that. what you. Should've... I think that's what I yeah, said. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't right. think she. I don't right, think she. Yeah, said, I don't not... think I said she fine. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't think you would have said nothing like that. No, I would have never said that. <laughs> no. Um. Someone. My Walker. girl is fine. Yeah. Exactly. There we go. No, my baby is. My baby is. I think I'm talking to my homie. <laughs> it's me. I wanted you to keep talking about her. Yeah, my baby. She good. I love her. Period. Where's she at? She at home? Mm-hmm. I love that. Um, Summer Walker, SZA, Summer Walker. Um, it's like I want my last one to be my top. Mm. But I don't know. I listen to my music on shuffle all day. It's like it's terrible. But there's so many women to choose from. I feel like right now, like there's so many women. I feel like I'm going to say one, and then later on, I'm like, I should have said this person. It's cool. We, we charge it to your brain, not your All head. All right. Um, and my last person I'm going to say is Beyonce. Beyonce is so fire, bro. I mean, Beyonce is our Michael Jackson of our time. Yeah. Beyonce. I mean, do y'all agree? Because y'all going real slow with it. Y'all acting like. Oh, she ain't see the clip. what I see? Oh, shit. <sighs> 
Privacy. Uh oh. Boy. Basically. Oh, y'all don't want to talk about Beyonce. No, 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 no. Oh. What? Like, I'm just I was saying, you can't to... say too much about nah, B. So, I was um, doing an interview with somebody, mm-hmm. and they said that Chris Brown's supposed to be on Beyonce level, and I was like, I don't think so. Mm. Me personally. It's like Beyonce is out of this world. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm, not saying Be- I'm not saying Chris Brown isn't talented. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve more credit. Mm-hmm. But to say he belonged on Beyonce level is crazy to me. Like, Beyonce <clears throat> is one of the best mm-hmm. performers. Yes. Artists, art. Like, oh, I don't care if people absolutely. say she didn't, don't write them. I don't care. She can give you different pockets. Mm-hmm. Nothing sounds this. Like, she is fire. I'm sorry. You know, um, nobody tops Beyonce. She really. is different. I mean, when we really think about it, like, she's just extremely different but also uh, I feel a real deep way about Chris oh. I'm not about to I'm not going to you know shoot and put him on Beyonce's level but I also feel like if he was more able to do more things mm. and people gave him more of the opportunity mm. we probably could actually start to understand why somebody would say that because okay. Chris Brown is a great performer he's a great singer sure. he puts out hits he dances ass out he don't put out no bad visuals like for he's sure. talented for sure but are we always able to see his potential only person that's better than Beyonce oh lord it's who? only person is in a fucked up situation that can't make no money and we can't even talk about this nigga He's the only person that's better that 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 can be that could go toe to toe and probably beat Beyonce or Kelly. I'm sorry, oh, that's the God. only person vocally. No, I ain't saying, but I'm saying like you act like R. Kelly artistry. get up there and do an H and do no, a, I'm saying uh, artistry. Count. I'm saying the music he make. Okay. Nobody. It's so sad that he gotta be a fucking weirdo. Like yeah, I'm no, so I, mad that he has to be I this hate weirdo. That. I hate that. But hold on, let's just go back a little bit. R. Kelly compared to Beyonce. R. Kelly. Now, R. Kelly vocals, music. I ain't talking about vocals. I'm talking about music. Oh, okay. No, music. Out of there. The catalog goes crazy. That's what I'm talking about. But we talking about all. We got to talk about all aspects when we compare Beyonce. Beyonce has everything. This is true. And what I'm saying is, R. Kelly was so good mm-hmm. with he that didn't need a dance that he can lose a little bit of dancing. Okay. And, and make up for it. Oh my God! Okay. He, and then what he wrote? Who he wrote for? Okay. Oh my. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't. It sucks I don't, that he. I don't had. play with R. Kelly. Yeah, I, I really hate that too. Bro, why? Bro, it's it. like, why does you do that to us? Like your legacy? Like you? What? You could have had any grown woman you wanted, bro, and you do some weird shit. We can't even talk hey. about you now. Hey, yeah, I hate that for him, but you know. I don't know. Like, people, money give you access to so many things. Like, R. Kelly been having money since how long? Like, like R. Kelly is probably something different. Like, he done probably experienced all types of stuff. And then he didn't even come from no good background or something yeah. to her, right? No, I thought he was molested. Yeah. yeah, it's like somebody who was molested and then got a whole bunch of money at a young age. Like, no, I empathize. No but... not, that, not that I'm saying I empathize. Hold up. No, I empathize. Let's stop because talking he's about a human. R. Kelly. I empathize. Yeah, right, he's a human. right. Yeah. Bro, that's, see, you, that's my thing. But I don't. I don't you up here more because you're yeah, just like, she's trying to be media trained so much. I have to. I haven't, <laughs> like, like, I haven't done an interview in so long. Like, <laughs> I promise you. They're going to find something to put on the shade room. And when I tell you, I hate being on the shade room. But guess what? Even if they do, so what? We had a great conversation. Yeah, we did. But, like, you don't understand. I don't. I know. Soon it could be easy because when you see it on Shay, we're gonna be like, shit, my shit went up. Fuck, they talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, like it's going hard on my ass in all the comments, and it's like, I'm gonna read them like, come on, mom, mom. That's so unfortunate. Right, like, like, yeah, you like, worlds. so what? Good conversation? No, nigga. I, I'm gonna call out. me like, y'all appreciate y'all so much. <laughs> right. Make sure y'all go I'm hiding. I'm not even saying nothing. <laughs> Please. <laughs> like, come on. Bro, <laughs> fucked up niggas, bro. Like, I be trying to be like that, I promise you. I be trying to be like that as much as possible, but it's just like, social media different nowadays. Yeah. That shit different. It's not how it used to be. Damn. What you say? I mm. feel for you. Hey, that's your I shit. feel for you. I feel for you, dog. I'm telling you. It be like that. No, oh, man. But this is great, man. Um, This is this is fire. This like, was so fun, man. I, um, yo, 
What what else you got going on that we didn't talk about? I feel like we hmm. talked a lot. Right. I'm like, let's see. I'm going to have a candle line coming out, but I really don't want to talk about anything I don't have dates for. So I don't even know why I'm like, I don't have dates for much for pretty much anything right now, but I've been working on a lot of different things. Mm. Do I have it here? A year. A year? Yeah. This year? Fuck, yeah. they thought. Sorry. That's hard. This like year. That. Um, 2023. Uh, yeah, 2023. Line. A lot of the things I've been working out, working on, will come out this year, for sure. All right, yo. Um, let's get you on the girls up here one day, man. For let's real. Let's do it. I'm serious. Let's do it, please. Yeah. Let's start a podcast. Um, for the people that don't know, everybody's gonna know. But for the people that don't know, okay. tell them your Instagram and stuff like that. Okay, my Instagram is Zanique J Lee. It's my name. It's so complicated. Do I need to spell it? You going to put it down there like at the bottom? Yeah, but still spell it. Because you need to know? No. Because you don't even follow me Do you me follow back. me? Yeah. I don't like that. How you call people up there and you don't even follow? You don't I call follow you, bro. You don't, you don't follow, follow me. me back. Okay. My Instagram is Zonique Jaylee, Z-O-N-N-I-Q-U-E, Jaylee, J-A-I-L-E-E. Beja look the fuck good. You don't even follow me back, bro. I'm about to follow you right My now. My Instagram is MR. Oh, no, I think I know it. No, you don't. Mr. J Hill. Well, Mr. Underscore J Hill. Not you just follow me. Like, come on. <laughs> I you was can... trying to get her to go my face. <laughs> <laughs> you had, you can find J Hill, Mr. J Hill without the underscore. I don't think I want like... it no more. Oh, you don't, you don't, you didn't want it without the underscore? To, you think I should try to get it straight? I mean, no yeah. underscore? you definitely should. I'll Better look. Do it. If you can. Definitely go for that. My Twitter is just Zonique. Um, my TikTok is Zonique Jaylee. It's me trying to... I don't even be on TikTok like that. What else is there? All my shit, like um, all my social medias, uh, platforms, if you type in Zonique, the one that's verified is me. Mm. Yo, this is, yeah, this is fire, bro. I really enjoyed this. This is fire. Like, I, I, I'm still feel bad that you got to be so political, but this yeah, is I'm, fire. I'm very honestly nervous. About what was said here today, but it was um, gr- it was it was good. It was great. Please I had don't a great do that to me, I had a great time, but like I'm not very vulnerable a lot of the times. I'm very private, so I'm just not sure exactly how this will. Let's bet on this, right? Look. Even <laughs> okay. if the crazy part get on uh, shade room, right? I think mm-hmm, shade room. Mm-hmm. I promise you. The people under the comments and YouTube, mm-hmm. it's gonna be like, oh my God, I love this Zani. Let's let's shake on that. Let me tell you, I'm not gonna shake on that because people on YouTube are extremely nice for some reason to me. Oh, whoa, that's what we disagree. No, they be killing they me. They are so nice. Oh no, they not to you, to your fans, to me. Oh, they kill me. I started a YouTube channel um recently. You guys can go check that out. You have fans, Please, bro. Please um, go check that out. I haven't posted any videos recently, but people on YouTube are way nicer than people on all other social yeah, media platforms. Disagree. Because you have fans. So, like, anything I say that... This mm-hmm. is what... Like, what Beja, again. What Beja said when she left, she said, oh, my God, I love that interview, mm-hmm. right? She, I love it. Her fans don't know that. Her fans is in the comments killing me. I didn't see that. I read the comments. Boy, not all of them, like, but I read a lot of them. Oh my god, it's so disrespectful! Like how you bring her up here and not do research. First of all, I did research, but I'm just joking and being. They were ki- like, oh my, like it's giving like I love Beja, but he's giving it, yo. Let me tell you. Let me just say something real quick. I read the comments as well, and most comments I didn't even read a comment that said that. But you probably saw those comments, and those are the only ones that you that you can remember, oh, or those me. are the first things you she think about. Me now. So I'm just saying, <laughs> <killing me laughs> when it's the other way around, or that's how it is, you only can really remember the negative comments. Like the good ones are like, I'm glad somebody felt that way, but Fair. the negative ones, the that negative hurt. ones are the ones, yeah, that yeah. you really take personal. So in fairness, you are right. However, just a little bit, push a little bit. Mm-hmm. Because I'm interviewing, I'm just being real, right? Mm-hmm. I ain't there yet. I'm just, be, I'm gonna keep it, hundred percent. You definitely authentic. about to be there. I am. Yeah. I am for sure. For but sure. just being completely hundred. Mm-hmm. The most people I'm interviewing, mm-hmm. most of the views come from their fans. Okay. So most of the comments isn't in my favor because if they fit, if any way, if they feel like I slighted you in any way, mm-hmm. okay. they're automatically on your side. Right. Right. Until I get to a point where I've have 
my your own fan fans. Base. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I'm not there. So most of my comments is really about the guests. And if they feel like, like, granted, sometimes they're like, oh my God, I love him. That was a great interview. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, if I'm saying, like, if we, if we joke and they don't get a joke, mm-hmm. and I might say something like, mm-hmm. oh, they, like, I ain't like how he, like, he really tried to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and <laughs> the whole time, me and you had a great time. And they right, like, right. yeah, no, nah, I don't, I, like I ain't like the shade. Like, he was being real shady. Like, okay. fucking, like, you feel me? For the most part. So, but yeah. Okay. But I like it, man. It's, but any, like I said, if even if it do get clipped on on shape or whatever, mm-hmm. I promise you they're gonna be like, nah, she was great the whole time. But if it go in the shade room and they talking shit about me, are you gonna take up for me in the comments? Or are you gonna be like, go to my YouTube page? I mean, n- no. So I don't usually do none of that. I usually mm-hmm. don't do that. But because I see how like serious you are about it, mm-hmm. I for sure would. For sure. You need to be like, actually. No, for, yeah, for sure. She was saying some real shit. Go for to sure. the YouTube page. A hundred percent. No, for right. sure. All right. You got that. I'll shake on that for real. All right. Let's, let's nah, shake on that. I'm to that. Like, I like for the real. shakes. Yeah, All for right. sure. I'm a man of my word. All right. This was amazing, though. I really enjoyed this. I don't get out the house much anymore, so this was a nice outing for me. Hey, Izzy, she might have topped you, bro. Mm. This Please shit was hard. Him. Please tell him. He that was hard, too, though. To be he told me I need to be dripped down to come here. Damn, I'm doing something right. A nigga say that. Yeah, he said put that mean a lot. He was like, "What you wearing?" I'm like, "I'm not wearing much of anything." That mean a lot. Yeah. <laughs> For him to say that, like yeah. that's dope. Damn, I appreciate it, yo. <laughs> Zanik, this is great. They don't get no better than that, bro. We gotta. She gotta just pull up on a regular now. I'll be here. She said it. I'll be here. Zanique, J-Hill, J-Hill Podcast. It don't get no better than that. We out. It's a wrap.